We're now live. Right. Now we just have to wait for Oleander and uh, Swagbug. Swagbug's already here, we just need Oleander. Uh, welcome, folks. First SF6 tournament from Footsies. Yeah. <coughs> It'll be the first of many, guys. Right? I'm guessing we'll have more of this. This is going um, to be a bi-weekly, so we're going to alternate between BBCF and we're going to alternate between SF6. Um, so yeah. Oh. And we have. Flagat hai, Devi aur dosto. Oh, she's kipele. Bi-weekly, gali yodha chhe tournament mein. Main hu aapka commentator, bada pratik. Mere saath hai chote pratik. Chote pratik se hai. Hello everyone. See me after flagat hai. Well then, well then is only under. Is everyone available yet? Hmm? And I hope so. I mean, uh, I think everyone knows that we have to be in Asia one, right? I, I, 187? I, I uh, hope so, yeah, 187. Ping, let's, let's ping I the roles here. Yeah, whoever, uh, yeah, whoever has round one matches, whoever shows up, we'll run that match first. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, that's cool. So let's check the bracket again. It's a de decent amount of people showing up, right, for the tournament? Yeah, right. about seventeen now. Or okay. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen people. Yeah, that's a good yeah. amount. That's a good yeah. start. Hopefully, there will be more people in the coming tournaments. It's a lot of the. It's mainly the Futsi crowd and a few of the IFGC people. Yeah, there is a there is a bunch of crossover between both groups. So I would say it's like half and half if you consider like the IFGC people as originally IFGC. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, a lot of these people are actually IFGC. Well, you know, hopefully we can also have some more people the next time we have this. Yeah, I, I don't think we have many SCA representatives this time. Mostly Indians. SCA, yeah, I don't think. I feel like. Did we like post this in the SEA servers yet? I wouldn't know. I I don't think we did. The others, the SEA server that I gave you a link for like a few months ago, that's the only one that I know of. So yeah, maybe next time we'll. Oh, um, SF5 SEA, the one with the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bangladeshis and stuff. Yeah. I feel like we can have a large player base because of how good Grand Tour is. It, yeah, but the competition would be way higher than, like, as in, like, the skill requirement. Oh, definitely. Hmm. I mean, if we get keep getting your people, we can also have a bigger tournament if that's feasible. Yeah, we could have like, uh, get, we could force everybody to go ranked and gold or below only. Oh, damn it, stream. Hold on. So you would get gate kept behind. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'll try. I'll try to get better. You mean worse? Your diamond and everything. All right, but you know what? The placements are kind of not the most. Uh, Oleander's here. Swagbug's here. Oh, Should okay. We start uh, the match. Yeah, I guess they have to sit down at this booth. Yeah. So we're watching the the stream. Uh, right? You can watch my Discord, Discord stream. stream. Okay. Yeah. I'll do the same. Do you have any idea who Swagpuck's playing? Uh, DJ probably. DJ and Oleander, I believe he's playing Geef right now. Is he? I don't I think mean, he, he was main. playing it in casuals. I don't know if he was, if he had another character. I remember he played a bunch of Cami last time I saw him. He doesn't have a main, as, as far as I know. Well, I've only played as Geef so far, so it'll be fun to see if he plays someone else. But I don't think he is. All right, let's go. Geef versus Geef. DJ. Let's go. Are we taking bets? Who's gonna win this? You gotta switch the name up. I think it says Moku versus. All right. I hope their connection is good. Blackbug is one of our few Pakistani members. I'm glad he's taking part in this. He's been a pretty active com uh, part in the community so far. Yeah. Swag 
Pog does some beginning pretty well. Leander can't really punish the block by the combo. Yeah, I think Swagpug is uh, going in too much right now. I think he should like, start with Fireballs and see what all he does and then change his game plan according to what all he does. Yeah, I mean, I guess Gabe is just risky to go in anyway. Yeah. He's... Go oh, that, that's a pretty good comment. I see he's been practicing. He feels a lot more comfortable on DJ than the last time I played him. Oh, wow. Really pressuring a lot in the corner. Yeah. Can't do anything. Oh. Oh, yeah. That has armor. You gotta jump it. Apparently, it has armor, and if it get, if it gets hit, then he goes in even faster. So that's. Yeah, I saw your tweet about it. Whoever's tweet it was uh, against Dalson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, Oli's having trouble uh, anti airing these uh, airnies. I don't think you can anti air them. You just gotta block them or parry them. I think the Lariat has enough invincibility though. He should be able to do it, but it's like a little hard to react to because it changes the... Swagpug's so playing really well. He's like baiting the Lariat. Um, oh, I think that was punishable, but I'm not sure. Is the EX uh, leg kick punishable off of the EX way? Not gonna lie, I'm not sure about uh, <laughs> DJ Spring data right now. All right, first round was first match was like pretty handily in Swagpug's favor. Oh, yeah, Let's see if all the adapts. He's having a really hard time. He hasn't landed a single command grab, and to be honest, Swagpug's just oh. All right, know. is our first SPD drive Russian? No. I think uh, even though Drive Rush doesn't give you okay, I think Oli should still Drive Rush in to keep the advantage. Oh, oh that was an amazing read. Okay, there we go. Alright, both ways feeling each other out. Oh, you gotta punish that, you gotta SPD that. Nice here. Oh, that's a nice grab. I feel like uh, Ollie's letting Swagpuck like control neutral. Like he's not really uh, forcing his offense. Like he's just like sitting back patiently waiting for Swagpuck to do something negative to punish, but then that's giving Swagpuck all the space on screen to move around and throw fireballs, create yeah. a jump mark, create he's something. He's doing whatever he wants on the screen, and most of all the end of damage has come from the running bear grab. Yeah, I think Oli should do more crouching lights just to control that space, yeah. so that uh, Swagpuck doesn't like drive rush in for free like that. That was a good check. Okay, good mm -hmm. SPD. You gotta drive rush in. Okay, now. Really use Not ready with the counter DI. Cover some distance with the drive rush. Oh, okay. I was looking at the wrong drive bars. I thought this would put all in burn on, but I was looking at DJ's drive bar. It's a good amount of damage. So I probably just hand back and throw fireballs if he wants. Oh, never mind, he's rushing in again. No, that's gonna miss. Yeah. Too far, too far. Swagpug seems really comfortable on DJ. I'm really impressed. I feel like Oleander could make use of the drive rush a little bit more, cover the distance. Yeah. It feels ironic because I think Oleander should be the one walking in, but uh, Swagpug seems to be doing all the rush down. He's not afraid of being in Zangief's face. Oh, you could get him with a air SPD. Alright, one, one good SPD could do it. We still have like one hit left on both sides. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, it's a, it's a good game by Swagpug. A lot of offense. Yeah. He did whatever he wanted and all we under we just uh had to hang back and block also. Awesome, so. Yeah. 
Well, pretty much, I would say Oleander to use more crouching light punches and standing medium punches just to like cover the distance mm-hmm. and like make the opponent afraid of drive rushing in and dashing in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Are we? Is there a thing with the Discord stream? I can't hear the sound. Uh, uh, I can't hear it either, but I don't. No, you can't. Mind. You can't really hear it because it's my video camera. Don't worry. Oh, okay, cool. That's okay. Uh, are we streaming Ace, Ape of Spades versus that Razor? We are. Oh, oh wait, who's that? Uh, I haven't seen that name before. Neither me neither. I'm going to update the scores, out. so if you guys yeah. could coordinate and stuff. Mm-hmm. Is that also <laughs> here? So that seems to be doing a really good job. And Beyond, what are you playing I'm... this tournament? Are you playing Manon? I think I'll just play Manon. Cool. Her. I'm gonna play for a week and then maybe switch to someone else. I'm just trying to. I'm just gonna try everyone out because. It seems what like do you think of Manon so far? Uh, I know that you weren't feeling her when you tried her. Yeah, on day one, I, she felt very weird because her combos, because she mm-hmm. barely had any combos, and it was all about the strike throw game. But I'm kind of getting used to it now, and you know, she can deal with a lot of like, uh, like on jump ins and even like. Hard to deal with stuff like Blanca Ball and on the head, but she seems to have some good tools to deal with those. So I am kind of liking her. I and haven't tried her yet, but from what I've seen, I feel like she's like to me the premier grappler of this game. Over I think she is. She has a yeah, lot of tools. It feels like all of the new characters have been designed keeping the SF6 system in mind, and all mm-hmm. the old characters have been retrofitted to the new system. So they've Nailed pretty much a lot of the old characters. So I feel like Ryu, Ken, Chunli, Juri, they fit well into the new system. They did a good job with them. Honda feels like the only outlier. But I like that um, Manon's gameplay feels very dynamic and there's like a lot of interaction with the opponent. And just like how the system favors her, like even if you parry somebody, mm-hmm. as long as you use a chain grab or a hit grab, that's still like, and even though you don't get much damage, that's still good for like the later part of the match when you do the undergrab. So I really enjoy watching her. I really de- like her design over Geef. Not that Geef is bad, he just feels like a bit more one note compared to Manon. Oh, yeah. He has a hard time getting into, and Manon has really long pulls, really good. Like, yeah. just, uh, you know, a vortex moves to get people in. And if you're playing as Manon, you're always scared of the command grab, especially oh. if she gets her middle levels up. Where is this Dark right. Razor guy, dude? Who is he actually? What? That razor. Uh, let's let's tag them. Otherwise, let's I... DQ them. Let's... Just give them two minutes, I guess. If they're not here, then I guess we gotta DQ them. Wait, he's on the thing. I pinged him. Let me see the other server if he's there. We'll give him a few minutes. Or actually, we can probably just uh, keep that off stream. We'll see what was ready right now. Uh, in round two, we have now. Uh, which one do you guys want to do? Uh, anything you want. If you have all players here, we can do whatever. Mm. Uh, is Sienna here? We can do Sienna my match. Is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do that. All right, let's do my match. Uh, oh, you're gonna be playing? <laughs> he wants to. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, sure. I'll commentate from the future. Uh, no problem. No problem. Mm. Uh, Moku's on this station. Uh, I don't know if you yeah, my no, message no, no, will no, reach that's... him, so I'm gonna go to the left station. I mean, you could just. Uh, uh, it's. I wish we had a bit more thing, coordination and help right now. Mm. Uh, wait. Uh, Oleander's <laughs> sitting over here. Uh, Safi, you can just come here because he's the same Oh, account. Sienna is with Oli. Yeah, Oli, oh, yeah. yeah. It's the same okay. account. Right? Same yeah, account, yeah same one account. second. I. I. Yeah. Coming. 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 Uh, no one's really responding in Donny chat, dude. <laughs> no one is, or Moku isn't. No one is. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Oh wait. I uh, would expect like the regular crowd to be there. If yeah, not the exactly. But people. like, no one, no one's here. And no one's in the tournament hangout VC either. Uh, Oli, sit down. Let's go. Sienna. Yeah. Wait, let me check if my character is. No, I'm on the wrong character. Oh wait, shit, no. I typed in <laughs> wrong chat. <laughs> I guess the best way right now is to just tell them in in the Steam chat. Alright, time to get uh, headbutted. 
I guess so. You are sticking with Dalton, right? Nope. Oh, wait, what? Do you see the name? Oh, bro, really? I see the name, but I didn't think that was also gonna be the character. I'm to eat some uh, headbutts. Kuch, uh, sir, kuch wade khane ka time aage hai. <laughs> Oh, you guys switched the names. Uh, cool. Oh, that is cool. cool, cool. No, he got the Daigo colors. That's cool. No, these are the Ahimsa colors. Oh. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh, that's gonna be a huge punish on the block DP. Good punish by Sienna. Full combo. You wait. You wait to find the future. <laughs> I don't know when that happened like five seconds after you said like actually more than more than five seconds after you said it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna look at the Discord stream on my second monitor and comment. Bro, you. really? <laughs> you don't have to multitask that hard. Sienna actually uh, not going that ham with Honda with the headbutts, to be honest. Uh thank you, Behorn. She just switched it up. I think she Oh heard. never mind. You'll see. Oh. <laughs> you're using a lot of normals, but now it's just headbutt. Headbutt, headbutt, headbutt. To be honest though, if you if they can't punish you, then why not just keep doing that? Yes, if it's gonna have to start perfect parrying them and punishing them. I don't know if I should say this since he's in commentary as well, but uh, I found that the reversal was pretty good. No, you're gonna... It's okay, uh, non one and can adapt it pretty well. Because I did go into the lab with, uh, against Honda, and I found that V-reversal, even though it put, puts them in uh, like full screen away, you still get a chance to dash in and close the gap. Ooh. But I guess the throw loops are all he needs. No need to punish the head, but if they can't get out of the throw loop. I wonder if they're gonna still keep that in the game. I'm pretty sure it's gonna annoy a lot of players that you know some characters just have ridiculous throw loops. But I guess we'll just wait for the first patch for that to decide. And Sienna is abusing Sefi's disability <laughs> with that drive impact. That'll be a close one for Sefi. Oh, never mind. Didn't do a lot of damage. I guess that's because of the drive impact. Oh no, that is not a good butt slam. Oh. And the headbutt start again. And he's out of drive gauge. The headbutt really eats a lot of the drive gauge. It's so annoying. Like one bar is gone immediately if you eat a headbutt. And that's a very good CA by Sefi. He can't react with the DI, but he can definitely react with the CA, which is very unusual. That's correct, I know. Oh, the headbutt again. But again. I don't know why they gave him such a good EX headbutt as well. After the fact that he can abuse the normal ones, they also gave him a uh, EX headbutt with two hits of armor. The score is 1-0 one one zero zero Sienna. Sienna. Luckily, it wasn't punished. And I think... So if he can get a lot from this corner. I mean, uh, since you're managing the stream, you you'll be the one who has to do the thing as well, right? Manage this course. Then get off me, Di, from the corner. But Seki just puts her back, and she just leaves straight up. With the headbutt. Now Sefi's in the corner has to deal with all the headbutts and the threat of DI. Never mind, he's the first one to do it. And I think this could have been it. But never mind, he gets the job done anyway. With the crouching medium kick. So far it seems like Sefi isn't having a really hard time, but then all uh Sienna just seems to get the win at the end. 
I don't feel like Sephi's struggling. Sienna just clutches out. And the wake up super one. Ooh. Sorry, I thought this would be way easier. It's not. I cannot <laughs> commentate my own match. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I'm trying to do as much as I can. <laughs> Even Koha is struggling and doing. He has to manage the stream. <laughs> so it's just me on my own right now. Another super one. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We can stall a little bit till you get everyone. Ah, too slow. Um, <coughs> Holy and Sienna going very aggressive on oh. Sefi, even though he has the full level 3 stocked up. It could be a beefy punish anytime. Anytime she messes up. But, you know. Seems to be doing alright. But I believe it's also Sefi's hitbox handicap that he has right now. No, I don't have a handicap on hitbox. These aren't yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, go high. Need help with the thingies? Yeah, <laughs> come on. I mean, we can talk about this after this after the match happens, and we can decide like uh, what we have to deal with. Right, right, right. right. Headbutt again. It's not scared at all. I don't think he's she's gonna get the punish on that. Um, nice kill, Bazyana. You have to be very aware. A lot of her buttons on punish counter give you a ground bounce, like you can convert into. A lot of damage. Never. What the hell? Yeah, I've been to level three. That was pretty sick. I did not expect that. All right, good match. I tried. Yeah, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. First day scan. Uh, yep, yep. Mm, let's see. Let me go look at the bracket. Oh, we should actually. We should decide who we want. Uh, like. Did Razor show up? Did Moku beat him? Okay. Well, that's it. Oh, uh, is Razor DQing? I mean, he doesn't show up, so he gets DQ'd. We should decide. Uh, we can, we, we can like uh, shift him to loser jacket for now at least. I mean, let's just do the winners for yeah. now and then do the. Uh, thing. We can, Cause... we can do behind versus back if nobody else is in. Zephy's in here. Uh, is uh, only devil, devil is. Devil was let's, ready. Let's do Zephy versus Devil. Zephy versus Devil is Devil, yeah. Hey, let's just decide one more match that we should have on stream and then we can yeah, tell everyone else to is, just play it off stream. Yeah, so yeah let's do Zephyr vs. Devil. It should be a good match. Then cool. we're doing Behaunt, uh, uh, who are we doing? Uh, Zephyr vs. Versus only one Devil. And then? Okay. And then the last match? The last match for stream? Uh, last match we could do... Uh, Dennis vs. Moku? Or no? Or uh, Tejasina vs. Windrunner? If Windrunner is here. Let's keep Tejas. I'd say have, I'd, I'd say have. Okay, these guys are starting the match, by the way. That's right, Tejas. They already started. Oh, wait, who are starting? Zephy versus only one of them? Yeah. Okay. okay. Then I'll not I'm ping them. Ahead. I'll ping uh, Dennis and Ape of Spirits. Sure, Moku and Dennis. I have to still change the scores. <laughs> Start to I, like I, have... I submitted my Sienna oh. score. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I have to change on stream and the names too. I feel Ooh. like Battle Hub is cool and all, but it's a little hard to manage everything if you, you know, they can start yeah. their match anytime. I Custom move is just a bit easier. Like, uh, we should have told them like... I wanted a more uh, community feeling, but then no one's hanging out either, so next time. Or like, we can switch if you want to. Uh, Yuchiro Hanma is only one devil. He was a very good Street Fighter 4 player as well. I don't think I saw him in Street Fighter 5. Oh, he's been practicing his combos. That's a very sick Sangyuf combo. EX Lariat to EX. Uh, oh, that could have been. Gosh, a, dynamite. Yeah. Could have been a great SPD if he did the OD version. I think Oli can learn a thing or two from Only One Devil. <laughs> I like how he's playing in the close range. Like, he's not letting go. Like, he's not giving Ryu any space. He's not letting him go anywhere. He's been stuck in the corner for the whole match. He walked into the corner and then he never left. Yeah. That's a great Sangyuf play. Uh, Kohai, I can't ping the tournament troll. I would tournament have to see. Troll. Bye, I'm just pinging Street Fighter. Mr. Meaty gets grabbed. 
Nice driver oh, should do no. nice button. Oh, that's nice. Oh, uh, Ryu's gonna win this one. Let's see the follow-up combo. Alright, I think that's pretty optimal. Decent amount of damage. I feel like yeah. the next combo with the C uh, level 3 should finish it. Would you use it here or would you save it for the last round? To be honest, right now I would use it. I'm pretty low on health. I don't think I would save it up. Uh, and I, you know what? I guess, I, yeah. I guess you were right. You wouldn't get a chance. Yep. Alright, that was pretty... Um, pretty one-sided. Yep. I mean, he had a little bit of chance in the second round, but... Uh, Devil got the SPD and he couldn't do anything about it. Yep, that's the Zangief strat. Just walk forward parry, walk forward parry. Get into standing medium punch range, get into crouching light kick range. And then play with the threat of SPD. Oh, Great excellent idea. reactions. It's gonna be very heavy damage with the heavy SPD. It's like 25% gone from... Oh, he went for it. Forward medium kick into low SPD. He didn't expect the forward medium kick to hit though, so missed the follow up and then Zephy ended up jumping. Mm, I, I don't I think Zephy's relying too much on drive impacts, especially against Zangief, because Zangief doesn't throw a lot of stuff out there mm -hmm. for you to absorb. And drive impacts can be grabbed, so I think Zephy should like chill out on the drive impacts. Bro, do we have any idea on who Windrunner is? No. No idea. Bye. Okay, good jump over. Missed the punish. Oh, he has. Man, Zephy's so afraid. He's just letting Zangief walk out of the corner. Honestly, I would be too. <laughs> so to I be honest, be it's really hard not be afraid against a Zangief. And in this game, with the damage he deals, like a crazy amount of damage, you gotta be even more scared. And now that he's in burnout, I don't think. I don't think he's gonna be going in. This is a very scary situation and... Ah, uh, good drive in this scoop. I think that's a heavy SPD. I think Based it is. Damage. I think he's... Oh, oh my god. Good he just goes for it. Yeah, he was just mashing it. <laughs> uh, no. Zangief is higher health. It might not kill you. The thing is... Alright, I, I, I would just throw fireballs now. I wouldn't do anything. Else. He just... almost has his drive. Ooh, nice, oh. excellent. Mm, nice, and here. That was perfect spacing for the fireball. It recovered quick enough mm -hmm. that you could DP afterwards. I just walk him into the corner again. Oh, oh no, oh that God. EXS speedy range, man, it's so high. Crazy. He tried to walk in once and he got grabbed. Ah, oh, he stopped blocking. Okay, good EXCP. Sangus and Bernard, you can zone him now. No, Not why are you jumping? jumping. Mm. I think Zephy had some good moments in that match for sure. Yeah. I, I guess he doesn't know the matchup too well. But uh, on the other hand, only one devil seems like he's been playing Zangi for months. Yeah, he really knows his stuff. And yeah, he seems very comfortable he, on Zangi. He played Geef in Street Fighter 4 too. Honestly, if he's going to play Geef all the way in this tournament, I might even root for him. Yeah, be funny to see a Geef win. problem with the Geef. And he so next having got every end here, well. I think, with the Lariat. I don't think he'll let him jump in for free at all. A very oppressive run. Mm, if Windrunner is not here, we could do either of the other two. We're uh, doing Dennis for Smoker, staff. if I'm not wrong. Oh, Dennis for Smoker? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think Dennis is having a problem with his PC or something. Who? Uh, Dennis? Also, Dennis is trying a new character. He's going to play Jamie. Jamie, we get yeah. to see Jam Dennis Jamie today. Yeah. Hmm. He said he can't get into his PC for some reason. He can't get into PC. Dennis oh. cannot? Dennis okay, cannot. Yeah, then if Chibi Max is here, me and him could have our match. Sure. I, I will commentate the match. He's he, pretty active. He I think he should be here. Uh, is he, in, is he not in the server? I think he is. Uh, he should be in Indian IFGC. Let me tag him. I mean, I feel like Chibi Max is one of the more active people in the community, even if he may not uh, be... IFGC shows him as offline, I still tagged him. Also, that Razor is in this uh, group, I guess, but then... Is he? Uh, that Razor is uh, done. He's DQ'd. Oh, he's DQ'd. But he's a loser, right? Uh, he I mean, 
he's DQ'd because I, like, if he shows her, we can out. play. Uh, we can have him play losers. Yeah, I guess. Uh, okay, so Chief Max isn't around right now, is he? So in uh, that case, what we DM him just to be sure. Um. Uh, who is around? Swagberg and Behan can have that match. Um, sure, I wouldn't mind that. Okay, I'll, I'll tag Swagberg then. Can you tell the... Okay, do you want this to be our last uh, round two match? That will stream. I mean, I oh wait, no, we can't do uh, that. No, we can't do that. Yeah, yeah. we can't do that. Hmm. It's mm -hmm. eight matches, right? Let's have like half of them. Let's just keep doing so, them until so people, people actually that, finish so their matches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In hindsight, we should have had a check in so we could like uh, update the brackets. We should have, we should have. Also, just so that we know who it's was It's okay. Who, it's our first tournament the growing pains, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I usually don't run the bracket myself, I just do all the streaming work, so I didn't realize it's gonna be this much. Uh, anyway, so now we're doing who? Beyond or Swagbook? Seems like, uh, yeah, seems like Footsies is carrying this. IFGC didn't even show up. 1 0 Footsies. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, devil is. Yeah, devil is. Devil's actually yeah. Sure. yeah, but there's like one person amongst like four. Oh. Uh, did Atomic Brown and Baba like check in or something? <laughs> uh, did they? I mean, I don't know if they're in chat or not. Uh, bye. Okay, okay, I'm gonna tag them and see if either. Swagbug's here though, right? We can just finish off the match. Me. So if you want, I can, we can start the match and then we'll yeah, yeah, okay, match. I'll commentate beyond. I'll go to a player one beyond. You carried me, I'll carry you. <laughs> okay, I'll sit on player one second. You're yeah. spectating, right? You're in the camera. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm spectating. Okay. okay. Uh, on the on the stream, I see Metrosilium in the brackets. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Okay. Making sure. Hey, who wrote Sefi sweep in chat? There's no Sefi sweep, okay? Don't put this pressure on me. Don't put this evil on me. Do not worry about it. I'll put it down there. What that you? <laughs> Mayhaps. <laughs> At least we have some nice lobby music. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, and Elshad are having their... Alright, we're gonna see Behan's Manana, alright? No more Honda, no more headbutts. Now we gotta deal with grabs. Let's see if he can uh, deal with Swagbug's excellent offense and uh, zoning. Alright. Swagbug starting out with throwing a few fireballs. <laughs> Let's see who sets the pace of this match. But seems like it's Swagbug. He likes to play offensive. He's doing the jumping knees. Good anti air by Behan. Ooh, misses the drive rush. Oh, lands the drive impact, that's surprising. I feel like Behan could have uh, answered right there. Wasn't ready. Ooh, another drive impact. Okay, now I know Behan's gonna look out for these now. Alright, corner pressure. Are we having. Th will we see throw loops? No, jumping knee pressure. Ooh, I think Behan was quick on the trigger there. He really expected Swagpack to do it, so he ended up doing it by accident. Okay, that was a very excellent first round by Swagpuck. Let's see if Behan adapts. I think DJ's uh, drive rush is so fast that even Swagpuck is not ready for it to end so soon. Like, he needs to hold forward more for his throws. Alright, we see the opposite this round. Behan's got him in the corner. Yeah, Behan is ready for the drive impacts this time. Okay, head grab. No, no head grab. Still on level 1 medals. Doesn't need it though. You don't need medals if you can just like beat them with normals. Alright, I think Behan just... Okay, great. Swagpuck burned out. I think he tried to drive rush. He's going too ham on drive rush. He's not looking at his drive meter. Ended up burning himself out. Alright, we see Swagbug cool down this time. He's, he's playing more patiently, he's throwing a few more fireballs. To be asking Behan to make his way in. Alright, both plays. Okay. Good grab, level 2 middle now. 
Mm, I think Swagpug is getting really uh, predictable with his drive rushes as well as drive impacts. Ooh, nice perfect parry. Alright, has the corner now. What do we get from here? No, Behan's ready. He ate three drive impacts in round one, now he's ready. Okay, good combo. Both players on level threes. Swagpug has the CA. Let's see if he lands it. Ooh, no, you can't be going for drive impacts, my man. Okay, good first round by B Horn. I think he adapted really well. I think it's Alex Y that said that first round is information. I think B Horn basically realized that Swagpug likes to do a lot of drive rushes and drive impacts. And if he just waits him out, he's going to make a mistake. Is MGC saying something? Oh, he, he must be on stream chat. Yeah. Okay. Manana on two medals. I really want to see Bihan do like a level 5 grab. But I think Swagpug is playing too uh, antsy. So. Uh, not really. I think both players are playing very offensive. So there's not much room to land a grab here because. People are doing like drive rushes, drive impacts. It's a very high paced match. So there's not room for everybody to anybody to sit still and like play the strike throw game. I think Behaunt wants to play patient, but because Swagpug is playing so offensive, Behaunt is like adapted. I think it's up to Swagpug to play Behaunt's game now. I think whatever he's doing is not working. Alright, back to patient neutral. Good anti here. Oh, missed the follow up. Mm, that could have been counter DI. That was very risky. Alright, behind is the corner. Let's see. Will we see another grab? Nope. Another DI. Drive rush gets checked. Is this gonna be level 3? No. Alright, Behaunts and Burnout. I think this would be the time for Swagpuck to go in. This is the time land or drive impacts. Oh no, is that gonna kill? No. Alright, I think one jab will do it. I think if Behaunt just like checks the next drive rush with the jab, it's over. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice call, Sefi, nice call. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot you could hear me. No, no, I was, I was... Uh... Oh, yeah, you're in, like you're in the future. 10 seconds ago, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I finished my match and then, then I was watching you guys. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. you adapted well. He was doing like a lot of drive rushes. And then when he was on the defensive, he could only do drive impacts. Mm -hmm. But again, I don't blame him because like you can't just block against a grappler, right? So you gotta I do mean, something. Yeah. That is the thing. When playing against Menon, you gotta be... You don't have to be, but you are very scared. That just happens. You can't do anything about it. It's a grappler and then if she grabs you, you get more damage. Yeah, I think it's a bit of like calculation. Like if she's like on level 3 or below, mm -hmm. I think I would take the grab. But if it's more than level 4, I'm never blocking against this character. But to be honest, you have to not get grabbed in the beginning so that she doesn't have a chance in the later game though. Because like personally, when I play Menon, I'm like, okay, if I'm going to lose, at least let me get some metal levels in. Yeah, so my yeah, idea is like my risk reward calculation is like uh, okay, if she's level one, two, or three, mm -hmm. if I take the grab, a I'm not gonna lose. B if my read is right, like if I jump and you grab, I get a big combo, right? Yeah, so yeah. I don't mind you getting level five as long as I win the match. But if I win the if I lose the round and you're level five, then yeah, my approach oh, yeah. is really bad. That's definitely bad. The two max is still in, right? Yeah, uh, I don't know if I just wanted yet. Wait, it's got a demon from? This time can't Chibi be Max is still in your... Okay, so Chibi Max and Gupshop are in IFGC. Chibi Max is asking, am I disqualified? Oh, you've already seen the messages. Mm -hmm. Gupshop is saying, hey, can't see any channels on Footsies uh, to write on. Who should I write to get DQ'd? Not home right now. Okay, so we can uh, DQ Gupshop. Uh, Gupshop. And yeah. I'll ask Chibi Max to enter Asia. What was it? 187? 187, yes. Uh, Gupshap is getting DQ'd, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. at home. Okay, cool. So then... 
and we don't have any idea on who Atomic Brown and the Baba is currently. Nope. No. Uh, is Ace in the lobby? I think he is, but I'm not sure. I'll just give one last ping to them, and then if they don't show up till the end of the next match, we'll have to DQ. Okay, TB Max is making his way here. Okay. Next time we make them check in just to at least see what their uh, Discord ID is so we can ping them. Are we streaming this match? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, Windrunner yeah. showed up, nice. It's a uh, mod. I mean, are, are they button checking? Yeah. You know. First modern character of the tournament. I have seen some modern players, they're not bad. Yeah, Giuna had like a whole run with a whole cast on modern. And there is a, a modern uh, master Ryu in the USA. So oh, that's... it's not that bad. I mean, as long as you know the fundamentals. Right. How did I know Tejas Cena is gonna play Ryu? I might have played his Ryu in SFI, but I think he just has like a big main character syndrome. He likes Kai, he likes Ryu, he likes the good guys, you know, the poster child. <laughs> that could be. I think he even played uh, Ryu in Third Strike, so. Ah, it makes that sense. Was the game. I mean, I can't even hate. Ryu usually is a very boring character, but in this game, he's amazing, so. No, no. Can't hate on the pick. It's fun watching Ryu go ham, which Tejasina just did in round one. I don't feel like there's any boring character in this game for now. Lily. Oh, yeah. She's, she's literally just T-Hawk when she cut up her. There's nothing new to her. Uh, she's not even her. as uh, oppressive as T-Hawk is. I feel like she could be either more oppressive or have more combos. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we should focus on the match. Yeah. Um, oh. I think Tejasina is playing a pretty good Ryu, uh, but he has trouble dealing with this modern Kami because A, it's a modern Kami, so she has access to very fast specials, and B, uh, Windrunner is playing very um, unpredictable, so you don't know what they're going to do. You're afraid to press buttons if they're just going to DP. Yeah, the one thing, he's doing a lot of stuff on Wake Up, though, take this to be a bit more careful, try to block a little more on Wake Up and not go in immediately. I think he had the perfect idea with that parry, but he just didn't punish in time. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. That's a good DI. You'll take the I think I think there was no reactions there. Both players had the right idea. <laughs> uh, the this same idea. With Windrunner was just like a second later, or a microsecond later. Oh, uh, I I can see that now. I can see that. Oh, uh, um, can't really see okay. why he did that. Yeah, I, I'm I'm at a loss for words as well. <laughs> Okay, but that was some decent damage by Tejas Cena. Okay, like good DP. Gotten more modern DPs, let's go. Um, could somebody tell me, do modern controls actually have less damage on everything? I I mean, on every special yeah. you have less damage, but then you okay. can just choose to do the motion and then it... Oh, uh, and if you do damage. them manually, like the whole motion, you get normal damage. You get damage. regular damage, I think, yeah. I see. Yeah, makes sense. That's a good system, I feel. Uh, surprisingly, Tejasina has been burnt out by this Kami. If she lands one drive impact, I think it's over, but she's going to ham. I don't know why she's doing mm. regular specials. I yeah. think Windrunner could have taken that round had they just landed the drive impact. But then, there's also the risk that Tejasina is ready with a CA. That is possible, but you know, it's really hard to react unless you know exactly when they're going to do it. Because you can't do it on reaction at all times. You have to like, you know, uh, know that it's coming. That was a pretty sick, perfect parry. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It is always challenging to play against players like this because it's not like Windrunner is doing anything bad. Technically, they are. Like, they're doing specials when you don't expect them to. But sometimes it just works, right? So, even if it's bad, it's good in certain situations. Like here. Um, yeah, the thing with newer players is they're very, we call it, unpredictable. You don't know, you can't, like, get a read on them. Yeah, All the time because play them I can I can opine about you know spamming specials is bad or whatever, but look at the life was right now. Windrunner is like really distracted. You've seen in this round, so hey, if it works, it works. Yeah. Okay, block once. Oh no, I think Windrunner just doesn't want to block. He just wants. He bought this game. He paid seventy dollars for it. He wants to press buttons. He's gonna press buttons. And it's been working a lot. It's not like Tejasina has not he has been blocking those. So like, if it's working, then he has no reason to stop right now. Okay, I, I don't know if Windrunner just heard me, but they're playing like a Evo player right now. We just had like three jabs into drills twice, and then they blocked their EXDP. Okay, they, 
Oh, Tejasina missing his Punisher. But that punish is kind of hard near the corner because if you wall bounce them, it's hard to land a DP if they cross over to the other side. Okay, good modern DP. Yeah. It may be modern DP, but he's still reacting to almost every uh, jump in. Kind of great to see. I like the wow. fact that the modern inputs are like fulfilling their purpose. Windrunner completely turned that around in round two. Oh, that's getting very interesting. Uh, you know, I find they just, you know, I, I, I'm a bit scared right now. Like, I don't really know what to expect, and I just lost one round. See, He's got if, a, if a player just like DPs every time, you just can't okay on them. And then what are you supposed to do? <laughs> like just block, but then they don't do it. They just surprise you. Oh, Ooh, excellent DI. Man, I don't know, man. This modern Kami is looking pretty decent. I hope Tejasina doesn't get hit with another wake up DK because it's been happening for a while and at least by now he must be like, you know what, maybe I need to just block and punish. Yeah, honestly, if I were Tejasina, I would just land a knockdown and charge the dungeon charge, not yeah. even go for pressure. He better not. Oh, that was okay. great. That was a great. Uh... That's a great start. Okay. You, I don't know why Tejasina keeps parrying this because he has missed the punish off of parry before. I think he should just block it because he's not in burnout. I mean, yeah, he has enough uh, Strive Gauge, so I don't think he needs to parry it. There are no real benefits to parry besides the Drive Gauge gain and maybe a little less pushback. And if he accidentally gets a perfect parry, then that's, his damage is just gone. Okay, a good job confirms again. Great NTRs. Not letting him get out the corner. I think Windrunner has a pretty simple game plan, but it's working so far. Mm -hmm. uh, their basic combo is jabs into drills. They anti air with the modern DP and then they go for grabs. That's a great it seems to be pretty simple but pretty effective. I feel like now with the modern controls, newer players don't have to deal with the you know the intricacy of doing command moves and all that stuff. They can just uh, start learning. Ooh, I don't know if that was an accidental dungeon charge or whether he wanted something else because he was a sitting duck right there and Windrunner saw it and punished. Oh, Tejasina loses a lot of drive gauge just at round start. That is uncostable, but... With Kami, you can't really just keep throwing another because she can just spinning knuckle through them. So we're relying on the dungeon. Okay, big combo. Dry rush combo? No. Ending with the super, keeping it simple. Doesn't want to drop it. Oh. So instead of a wake up DP, we have a wake up super. Oh, Tejasina burns himself out. No, this might be safe. No, it's not safe. It's still anyone's game though. Yeah. But I think Winner has the upper hand just because Tejasina is in burnout. This is gonna be very hard for Tejas. He doesn't have... He just has Super 1. Okay, Tejasina really wants to uh, get his... Oh, is this gonna kill? No. That modern control uh, damage reduction. Tejas okay, both players in run out. Okay, they just can't end this. He has his drive out, right? Okay, next hit kills. He can't. Oh, I, think I wonder he what he tried, tried there. I think he tried to DI. I no, he he had the EX glow. I think he wanted to OD DP, but no, he because the right glow means uh, armor. Uh, okay. So I all right, think you might be right. Yeah. So when he I just saw a glow. I wasn't sure if it was red or yellow, mm. but yeah. You're right, he might have gone for DI, but he didn't have enough HP to absorb the hit. Yeah. That was a great match by Windrunner. I did not expect yeah, that. I did not expect that. I, you know, color me impressed. So, next to be honest, me versus GB Max. People who've been playing fighting games for a while, they look at, like, Street Fighter for a while, they look at modern controls and they expect the player to not be good, but this was not the case here. Yeah, and also I feel like a lot of players, like the vast majority of them that are making fun of modern control players are classic control enjoyers that are stuck in silver or gold. <laughs> because if you if you actually follow the pros, a lot of players are kind of concerned about modern controls. As in like, they have their strengths too. They just don't have weaknesses. Like they have weaknesses, but they also have strengths. And on certain characters, they could be really strong in tournament. I think the main weakness is that it uh, you don't have access to some normals 
Yeah. Because the damage is not a problem because you can always just choose to do the normal motions and get the full damage. So it's mainly mm. just the fact that, you know, you don't get access to some normals. And That's hey man, half game. the people don't play footsies anyway. So if you're not going to play footsies, why do you care about losing your normals? Uh, do we... Have me with GB Max right now. Yeah, okay. But do we like uh, DQ, Atomic Brown and the Baba? I'm guessing so. We just push one yeah. of them through and then immediately... I, I don't even know what server they're in. I can't even tag them, sir. So. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm DQing them at this point. Okay, Ace is in the lobby. Uh, did we have Ace's match yet? Oh, Gapshav got DQ'd. Cool. So, Ace is next round. Cool, cool. Okay, yeah. So, we only have one match left. That's Chibi and Kohai. Mm-hmm. That's Chibi Alright, uh... Like, let's, uh, let's start the losers in off-stream. Uh, sure? Yeah, yeah, sure. Just, like, tell people what to do. Yeah. I'm a match now. Yeah. Uh, should I play my match against that Razor, then, in losers? Uh, oh, no, I'm commentating, right? Yeah, you're commentating. Is he available, though? Here comes a new challenger! There is some slowdown compared to the end game. This what on Discord is that the same? Uh, oh. Sorry, and Discord. I don't know about the stream. Oh, that's not. Mm. All right, we have another Ken and another Manon. Have you seen or played Chibi Max yet, Bihan? I have not. not played him in this game. Oh, so yet. It seems like one of our players on Wi-Fi. I hope it's not Kohai. <laughs> Not that it matters, both players are in India, but still. I see 5 bars, so I don't think that's a problem. I think 5 bars in this game is under 10 ms. Yeah, but Wi Fi is Wi Fi. Uh, I guess, yeah. That's, uh... Ooh, I don't know, Bihan, that Manon is looking pretty crispy compared to yours. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna take anything away from that, did look pretty good. Except that, that was not good. He was too far for the EX alarm right there. Alright, Kohai is a fellow turn stealing enjoy. He's doing the crouching medium kick into the crazy kicks. Frame trap. Oh, no. I think he should have gone for a regular DT punish there in the end here. Uh, I feel like Kohai should. Oh, Kohai can hear me. I can hear It's long streams with fireball instead of DI. <laughs> Oh uh, right. no, that was right, go high, not gonna lie brother, it doesn't look that amazing for you. I see. Um, I don't think... Uh, yeah, I'm in the training mode in Battle Hub and it seems normal to me, so... It may be a new issue, but we'll switch to... Uh, Custom lobbies, anyway. We'll have all other players finish the matches in custom lobbies. Except for the ones we want to stream. I mean, including those, but we'll stream those in our custom lobby. I mean, beside a few players, uh, this match we're gonna have on stream, and then tell everyone else to just play it off offline and, you know, I mean, like, off stream and let us know the scores. TV Max is going it's been very well, Paul. Yeah, I forgot there's a match going on. Sorry, go ahead. I feel like Coast North's just struggling with the stream and... Yeah, man has a lot of things on his mind right now. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's the option select. Kohai is yeah. too busy thinking about the tournament to play his match to his full extent. Meanwhile, Chibi Max has nothing to worry about. Just wants to grab people, just walk in, do full punish combos, do optimized stuff. I don't know, man. Chibi Max, his Manon is like pretty good. Um, and he's 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 he completely dominated the first round and he's only on one medal level. Yeah. Just to show that you don't need to land the grabs, just the threat of the grabs is enough. Oh, he's doing pretty good thus far. Yeah. Uh, this is the uh, thing with a lot of uh, command grab characters. You just they beat your ass just with normal mm. and uh, regular combos. Because you're so scared of the command grab keep jumping. Alright, go ahead still in this. I think we wrote him out too soon. Alright, go high. You can do this, brother. I'm biased, I believe. Oh, that. 
thing is, Manon can get a, com a med level from any punish counter. With even like a medium button, so... Uh, I something like that is very dangerous, this game. But I don't think he has to worry about that anymore. He's almost dead if he doesn't play this well. And... I see the problem yeah, with yeah. buttons. Yeah, uh, there wasn't mm -hmm. much to commentate there. Yeah, it's it was but non-domination. Yes, yeah, it was no problem. That is the problem with big buttons. Even if they're good folks, if you get uh, if they react to the DI, you are not recovering in time to DI back or do anything. Mm -hmm. To be honest. Uh... Right. Uh, what are we having next? Uh, we are having. Uh, we, I told Tejas, uh, Oleander, Don, Dennis, and Zephy to go off stream for now. I think so the losers have... is not on stream yet, right? No, no, yeah, no. It's only top, top eight. I believe. Top, yeah. From round three, I'd say we have we like take two losers match on stream and then one match from winners on stream and then mm. the rest we go. Okay. For. Round right, three. So what are we doing yeah, now? that makes sense. I think that is that should be top eight, right? Yeah. 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 And then we have like then we have top eight. Okay, should, I, uh, should I play my match with uh, Razor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The is, few... He's available. Yeah. Okay. That uh, Razor. Who's the only one available? Do we have any idea who the, what that Razor's ID is? He's right That's here in game right. though, so we can probably just talk to him in chat. Okay, cool. Is it? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, do you know who only one devil is. Only one devil, yeah, it's uh, yeah, yeah, uh some game. something Hanma in the lobby. Is it Hanma in game, I think? Uh, then ask uh, Moku and uh, I'll ask Moku and him to play on stream. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, sh Razor, me, and you fighting. Wait, who is Sefi was who then? That Razor, right? Yeah, that's not being streamed, right? That's off stream. Yeah. It's off stream. Cool. I'll switch what are we having to, on stream? Uh, no, I'm Oko and only one devil. Okay, cool. Dude, my stream lab is lagging. It's taking a while before every click, click works. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just realized we're not streaming 60 FPS? Uh, Twitch? We are, aren't we? I don't think so. You didn't say 60 FPS, so I'm assuming it's not. Uh, uh, only one devil is in the lobby, right? It's not really a problem now. We can. Uh, up later. I don't think we'll take like a small uh, like pause before top eight and like sort of oh, all the issues. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, top eight we're gonna have all on custom rooms. So, yeah. Dennis and Zephy are fighting. Was it off stream or yeah? I think they yeah, just... yeah, yeah. didn't lose this. Lose this. Yeah. Man, uh, that razor come here. Come here, that razor. Is uh, Yujira Hanma in like the what's it called? He's in Discord. He's in IFGC. I think he's also in the lobby. Alright. Uh, Moko hey. is in cabinet. I think. Bye. Mhm. Mm Moko is in cabinet. Uh, can you uh, see? Ask that razor. Alright. Ah, man. Two two minute phone call. Come on, dude. <laughs> also, that razor. Wait. Well, uh, who's that? That razor fighting. He's in the end game. He's, he's fighting me non violent. Oh, wait, no. yeah, yeah. Are you going? Uh... Oh, you're off stream, right? So. I think that razor is off stream. Uh, Moku and uh, Yujiro Hanma is on stream. Okay. I, I switched to my main. Ooh, my... Moku and Yujiro Hanma. Okay, That's I think favorite. Yujiro Hanma is currently my favorite in the whole thing. So let's see how this one goes. I only see the wake up DP almost immediately there. I mean, I can thank you. You're a bit scared. You gotta do something to get him off you. Yeah. You I got a communication error with Razor so I can keep commentating. Oh. Capcom server is acting up again, which is kind of sad. Guys, Capcom definitely uh, we fix the servers. Small indie company. <laughs> indie company. 
<laughs> Moko is the right idea. He uh, doesn't have the life lead, so he's gonna sit back. Oh, no. That's not a good idea. I don't know why. Yeah, he, he just switched it up at the end, yeah. I feel like um, if you're that down against Zangief, you should just try to keep him out with buttons or fireballs. Or maybe bait a lariat and punish the lariat. Yeah, he was doing a decent job, but I don't know why he got in. Considering the fact uh, that. And DJ <laughs> also has like the feint, so you could always feint and then drive rush in rather than just raw drive rushing in. Mm -hmm. sure, sure. I think it's just one more grab and then end of the round for Moku. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. He's not okay. going for any fancy combos, just straight up. Yeah, tech that was a good tick throw with the uh, crouching medium kick. Yeah. Round one. Alright, good. I'm gonna play my match. Sure, sure. Yeah, oh, he is... Getting him off with the EX DP a lot, Moku. But, you know. Well, he should try to maintain the distance. Maybe, but he's trying to get in a lot. I feel like in, uh, a lot of people try to get damaged by going up close when they could just like keep throwing fireballs, keep poking them, and then get, you know, get their health low. Got a stuff on his health low. He's afraid of jumping, but then, you know, but going in won't help anyone but the opponent. Unless you're like reacting to something or punishing something. Like there, I think, I'm pretty sure he did a fireball and he had no reason to do that. Of course. This is not looking good for Moku, but you know. Every loss is an opportunity. <laughs> the SPD, the air SPD range is a bit weird in this game. I feel like that would have definitely been a grab in Street Fighter 5. The running compare grab works. I think that's here a game. Just as well. Only one devil. Yeah. It might be a Geek Street, bro. Not gonna lie, I'm not that comfortable playing against Geek, and I've not really played a lot of good dudes. Actually. What you mean? Weren't you a Geek player? I was a Geek player, but you know, playing as Geek and playing against Geek is just. True. Pretty different. I'm just joshing. Yeah, but they're, they're the same. I feel like personally, uh, I get to, uh, like, I'm very scared when playing against the Geef, but even when I'm playing Geef, I'm still kind of wary of a lot of stuff, so I don't play him as oppressive as other people do. Yeah. In fact, my character has the best matchup against Geef, but uh, I cannot count the number of times I've lost to Geef. I think my matchup, <laughs> real life, practical matchup is like 5-5, five, five, yeah. even though it's like 7-3. Yeah. The Sefi Geef matchup, that's the problem. True. <laughs> Okay, so who do we go with next? Uh, I think we should go with Sienna and uh, Ace. Sienna and Ace? Cool, cool. Right, I'll tag them. Seems so like a pretty good showing in, in, in the hub. Mm -hmm. In the, the hub? Floor you you have to be specific. You mean the battle hub? I'm in the battle hub, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not <whole> the hub. <laughs> The whole top floor is filled with IFGC and Footsie's there. Oh, nice jump. We had a bit more coordination. Coordination is a bit less stressful. Thank God Indigo's here. <laughs> you know what I hope in the coming tournaments? At mm -hmm. least for C4 6. A lot of people in the older games, they didn't uh, compete in tournaments just because like, they, uh, they thought, oh, I haven't practiced any. I haven't played the game for a while. I, I won't be good. Like, it's just a community. Just participate. Just show up. Yeah, some of yeah. us are here to lose. I'm picking Ken. Yeah, no one cares. Just even if you I'm calling myself you... non-violent Ken because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like even if you lose with your main, it's fine. No yeah. one cares. It's not even. I mean, I knew I would lose IF... ICFC, but honestly, I'm so glad I entered. Yeah, I, it's it a... gave me like more confidence about the game than I had so far. Everything is a learning experience. Even if you lose, that's even better for you. So that you know what not to do and what to do. You can work on yourself instead of just staying in training mode apparently. I'm Being making like, this I'm an player hate his life right now. Oh. No, no, I'm playing Ken guys. Wink, wink, I'm playing Ken. <laughs> Alright, 2-0 Sefi against uh, Razor. Oh, that's, that's good. good. Oh, Ace is going with my Razor. Oh, I'm back on time. Mm. 2-0 Sefi. I think Ace, yeah, 2-0 Sefi. 
uh, Razor. I think Ace is a pretty good player from a... I mean, he's been practicing a lot and playing a lot in IFGC. So I'm really curious to see this Marissa. I think she's a very fun character to watch. I just need to get clarified. Does her heavy... Do her heavy normals have armor? Uh, they do when you charge them and they are plus on block. Okay, but they're think... they're only upper body invincible. Oh, excellent oh. preemptor DI. I think that should kill. Oh third. yes. Oh never. No. Nice. Oh, it's fun oh. to see Ace has optimized combos. Sienna is stuck in the corner. She doesn't know what to do. She can't uh, just go in with the headbutt. This is really satisfying to watch after Sienna <laughs> bodied me. So, uh, Marisa's problem is her neutral is very uh, weird. You cannot just play footsies because her buttons are very slow. So mm -hmm. you kind of have to put like armored moves out there. Kind of like Birdie in Street Fighter V, anybody's played Birdie. Uh -huh. But Birdie had better buttons than Marissa. But as a reward for having like bad buttons and like try uh, like Unga neutral, Marissa has like insane damage when she punishes you. Any punish counter can be like at least 40% Also, I, yeah, I read this, but I forgot that Marissa has a pretty good matchup against Honda because her armor absorbing moves, like armor moves, absorb the headbutt and then she can punish afterwards. Oh yeah, since it's uh, upper yeah. body. But you have to let go on time, so we just saw that Ace tried to do it, but he let go of the punch too early and Honda was still able to punish him afterwards. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, she already got him with the, I mean, he already got her with the DI twice. Yeah, I don't think Sienna knows this matchup at all. Uh, is... Sienna is just relying on headbutts. And, He's uh, reacting very well with those DIs. He got a punish counter every time. Every time he tried to DI, it was a punish counter. Yeah, I think he's not reacting. I think he's uh, noticed the rhythm. Really? Sienna likes to do her headbutts in, and uh -huh. he's preemptively doing him. That is possible. Oh, that's gonna be dead. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Misses the key miss, miss in the combo, yeah. but uh, still has level 3. He had full meter, he could have just... I feel like if he just went for the uh, level 3... I think three, next time, uh, when he expects a headbutt, if he does a level 3, it might work out. But that's like... Oh, oh good. what a trade! Oh, wow, what a trade. And good good reaction on Ace to see that yeah. he traded and finished the combo. Oh, wait, is that 1-0 or 2-0? What's happening? Uh, no, it's 1-0. 1-0, zero. Zero, right? Okay, okay. This can... Yeah, he's doing very well right now. And Sienna seems to be struggling. Wait, what What, what happened? Why, why are they already, like... Why is Sienna already up one run? Uh, is Sienna up one run? Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, it's, that's spectating issues, but okay, okay. Uh, no problem. It's fine. Let's just assume there were, like, a lot of headbutts in that round. <laughs> That won't be a bad assumption, to be honest. Oh, excellent, DI. Also, this is like the perfect uh, perfect time to spam DIs when Honda isn't Bernard, because as we've seen behind do, if one Honda does a headbutt and you do a late DI, Honda can land and DI back. Yeah. But if he's in Bernard, he cannot do that. Oh, good Toby Bachar. <laughs> She's just going to try to pun it. Uh... Let go of the parry too soon, should have kept blocking or parrying. It's gonna be a close one, Sienna seems to have adapted to... Oh, excellent stance. Okay, I, I see what Ace is going for. Ace is whiffing buttons to bait the headbutt and then doing the counter stance to punish. Oh, good parry. Oh, you could have punished there, you could have back thrown her. It's fine. Ooh, excellent idea. I think Sienna is very predictable with the head, but she has a particular rhythm that she's following. Yeah, but then, Ace has got a read on that one. Yeah, she needs to like switch it up. Oh, good, perfect parry. I don't think I've seen uh, Ace get walls by a single time. You know, yeah, I think that. I think Ace has uh, played a lot of Hondas and ranked or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be doing very well. Oh, uh, never mind. Oh, that is good, perfect, perfect. great. I think, oh, I could have finished it with a super one, I think. Ooh, oh, that could have gone really badly. Burned himself out on the D and drive rush, but still works out. Sienna ended up not blocking. Wake up. 
Okay, now we're seeing Sienna switch it up. Maybe she'll go for more command grabs instead of headbutts because the headbutts aren't working out. Never mind, oh. spoke too soon. She's <laughs> still going for it. Oh, good counter DA. Good reaction. Think, you know what? I think it's the run for Ace. Burnout Honda. I don't think it's gonna be able to do Oh, it. that was almost a sick combo. This should be a full punish. Level 3? I think this is it. I think this is it. It's yeah, this, could, this is probably it. Wow, that last round was like almost perfect for Ace. He did very well against. I think we have a new favorite. My favorite was only one Devil Zangief so far, but honestly, this Marissa is pretty exciting to watch. I wouldn't be surprised if they face each other in Grand Finals. Um, now I have to face Ace though. This one's to one. I'm not really excited about that one right now. Uh, okay, if anybody is in charge of stream chat, we could ban the person. I don't know who this person is. If somebody <laughs> knows. Uh, stream chat. There's some guy here. Harry balls. Harry balls. No, don't worry about him. All right. Downs into a bigger issue uh, than we'll. Thank you for just. Okay, one, two, down, uh, down, 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 Dennis, we have... We'll do me versus, uh, Dennis. Is, is Dennis, uh, still having PC issues? No, no, Dennis is, Dennis is, uh, for this first match against Zephy, and he's won. Okay. okay. And Dennis is not... Oh, the guy? From, uh, stream chat? Who? What? Harry Balls, double four, five, six, one, 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 one. Are there no mods in the chat? Uh, I can ban him. Hey, do we have no mods for our footsies? We do, I just, like, we do, today but, has been yeah, super just might fucking not be slow. Right okay, uh, are Swagbug and Moku having their off-stream match now? If you uh, know. Oh, right now, know it's let's do me versus, uh, Tejasena. Okay, yeah, yeah, do you versus Tejasena. Uh, mm -hmm. you're getting the streamer privilege, having the losers on the stream. So we have to wait on the winners matches, right? Chibi Max and Windrunner, I guess we wait on that, and then we do... Yeah, I'll just ask Chibi Max and Windrunner to do that off-stream. Which losers match should we do uh, on-stream for round 3? I mean, there are not not a lot of left, because uh, Swagbug and Oko are already doing it off-stream, and then we have... Sefi. I guess it's just Sefi and... Uh... Yeah, Sienna's matches. Who's an 18? Chibi Max or Windrunner plays yeah, against that's, Happy, that's and then one. Sienna and either Ko or Teju Sienna. So I guess we could do those two matches on stream. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, and then so then I'll just ask Chibi Max and Windrunner to go on with the off stream matches. What was Windrunner's uh, Discord ping again? Where's Chibi Max at? Where I mean, Teju Sienna. You pinged him, right? I did. Okay, just wait for a minute. Probably he'll just show up, maybe. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, what is Windrunner's Discord at? Uh, it's Excelsior or something. Okay, Excelsior. Oh, yeah, not bad. Bring him already. Stream mm -hmm. match. Today has been a weird day. <laughs> well, the tournament seems to be going by pretty fast. There. Behan, did you make yourself? Uh, uh, your avatar? I tried. I like a make tribal sense. emo, like Satsui no yeah, I, don't, I don't know so. why. I don't know why I gave him the face chats, but I was like, you know what, cool. I like the hair though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I see Doris made himself. They just is, uh, top, hey, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, some of this stuff it looks it's so bright and so weird. Oh my god! It's kind of fun how much freedom the game gives you to make a character. Yeah, for sure. Dude, some of these people have been making like the most realistic stuff. Like the guy who made punk. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. Punk that, was that, was that was really good. <laughs> I feel like there's a meta in Souls games and this game where the better a person is as a player, are the top players, they're the ones who make the ugliest creations. <laughs> And then the you, you know your everyday player, your casual player who just got the game, they want to make themselves, or they want to make a cool looking, you know, yeah. edgy male character or a waifu. But all the Souls players, even if you see like Dark Souls or Bloodborne runs, they have like really ugly characters. 
The thing is, they didn't. When the first close beta came out, oh, we have a immediately went for ugly ass characters. Lower fight, lower fight, can versus oh, real. Oh, can versus real. Like the eternal rivalry. <laughs> oh. I'm seeing a lot of fireball game from the two. Yeah. We see that more. The... I think we get to see both players play like a comfort zone in this match because uh, Kohai was against uh, Amanon and Tejasina was against uh, Modern Kami. Mm -hmm. And now we get to see both players kind of play their match. Mm. Oh, that Ooh, was, that was caught, like. Yeah, that's always fun to watch whenever a can run uh, DP's a fireball. Is there a run DP specific thing or can he just DP through too? No, uh, he can. I, I build. No, that might be a run DP specific thing. I think. That is so cool. Yeah, it that looks is... like uh, Sagat's old Kara DP. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, good cross up. Oh, oh go ahead, not ready with the counter DS. Honestly, it's even I get caught by it. I blocked the first one. I never expect the second one. To be honest, yeah, it is kind of risky to do it. Because even when you're the player doing the DI, you're like, okay, maybe I should do it again. Because if you get DI back, it's a very damaging punish. Especially when you have like super meter as well. Oh, I'm so, you're seeing some nice air to air from Tejas. Oh, just trading drive impacts. I think, yeah, I think both players aren't ready for the other's drive mm, impacts. They just seems trying to go for the Street Fighter 2 gameplay. The sweep, sweep on wake up. Oh, we're seeing a lot of jumps from both players. Oh, that should have been a DP, but I guess the fireball worked out. It worked out, yeah. Ooh, that's a good DP. I mean, I don't know if it's a good DP, but it worked out, so it is a it good DP. Work. Yep. How do you think that works? Ooh, Isn't again, baited the fireball, ran through the whole, ran the whole so screen, and then DP. Uh, Luke in the beginning. Oh, it was this might be a perfect there. from Kohai. Oh, he oh, I jinxed it. Commentator curse. I'm sorry. Oh, nice driver. Oh, this is oh you could have punished that. Yeah, Ryu's EX donkey kick is very negative on block. But I guess Kohai wasn't ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice target combo. Putting him in the corner for the DI and he misses the drive impact. Uh, both players, both players <laughs> miss their punches. <laughs> uh, just from what I've seen so far, I feel like Tejas doesn't want to play a lot of neutral. He wants to be really offensive, really bulldog his way in. Mm -hmm. And Kohai wants to be a bit more reactive, but be a bit more patient. And Kohai is trying to adapt to Tejas' style. And it's very overwhelming so far. He runs oh, toward uh, Tatsu. Nice. Oh, that oh, is I a great that combo, punish. Sure. Yeah, that's a new combo here for me. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. This is the now, DP follow up. Now, now he gotta be careful. He's in burnout. I don't think that's always a good decision to be in burnout this early in the game. Tejas mm, is ju uh, jumping a lot. I think Kohai should do more crouching, heavy punches. I think he would have been safe if he blocked, but Tejas yeah, just, just wants aggressive. to jump. Like Tejas just wants to be right in Kohai's face. You know, surprisingly, he didn't use any DIs during Ko's burnout. Oh, good EXDP. He just got his OD bar back. Oh, oh. Uh, Chip would have done it, but they just like playing super offensive. Like, Kohai is really afraid to put any button out there because they just could jump it right over. I'm trying to think the DR uh, crouching medium pick a lot. And oh, he missed the final parry. Nice DP by Ko, keeping him in the corner. And is it time for throw loops? It's not. It's Tejas' turn, apparently. It's a nice pickup. Oh, uh, that's finally. a great DI. Yeah. Go ahead, reacts with the counter DI. Oh, never mind. I think that could have been it if you used the super. This is very dangerous for him. Oh, I think he takes I it. I think this might be it, yep. He just takes it. That was. I, I think feel like Tejas really gonna turn it around. Yeah, Ko, Ko when he made the right reads, it's just that you couldn't read somebody who's playing that offensive. He just doesn't want to stay still. Cause like I think there were like four fireballs thrown by Tejas in that match. Otherwise, Tejas was right in Kohai's face.
How would you uh, deal with a player like this, Bihar? Like, say you have somebody who is very offensive, right? Just wants to dash up, jump, be in your face all the time. Would you try to like slow the pace of the match now, or would you try to match their pace? To be honest, personally, I would like to slow the pace down, see what they're doing, and try to be reactive but defensively, not go in with the offense immediately, yeah. and then try to get a read on what they're doing. Once once yeah. I get the knockdown, then I can go in and be offensive, right? Yeah, makes sense. I agree. I usually do that too. I try to do it. it works out. Yes. <laughs> so now who are we doing? Uh, we can go Tejas versus Sefi, right? Isn't it's oh uh, Tejas versus the loser of somebody. Sienna and Winner are still having a match right now. Sienna and who? Sienna and Tejas. Wait, 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 wait. Where are we right now? Yeah, are we, we streaming Chibi right Max now. and Windrunner or no? No, no, no. Oh, we need have... to we need to finish Chibi Max versus Windrunner too. They're yeah, already playing. Oh, are they? Yeah, they are, that's fine. They're playing off stream. Well, I guess uh, we have the Sienna versus Tejas on stream then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Moku, uh, I think Moku. Oh, they are. They're also having off stream match right now. Moku. Uh, get yeah, Sienna here. Moku and Spike. That's fine because we can't have every match on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so let's yeah. do uh, Sienna and Tejas, and then we'll do Sefi we, versus we do loser of yeah. Chibi Max Winrena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. That sounds fair. Then we can take a short break, make a custom room, and then get yeah. people in for a pocket. Oh boy. Uh, I hope Sienna takes her match because I want to put that curse on Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I don't think I've played with Dennis uh, as Honda a lot, so I don't know how he's doing with the Honda matchup. But it wasn't bad. He wasn't. He was doing pretty well. I guess. Did you beat him seven four or something? I think I did, but that was just once. Yeah. And after that, I think I switched to Manon because I want her new character. It's not like a Dennis thing. It's just a Honda thing. Like oh, right yeah, now, yeah. the game is so fresh, and we're having so much fun playing each other, or like learning our own characters that we don't have time to go into training mode and lab one specific punish for every character. Oh yeah, yeah. So, for example, when I have training it. mode. I'm yeah. trying out like new stuff with Dalsim. I'm trying to see tech for different situations, like offensive tech. Mm -hmm. So I could like have Honda just headbutt me and try to parry it for two hours, but it's just not that fun. Maybe like when I feel like when everybody's like, okay, we've seen all the stars, we have done fun in matches. Now it's time to get serious. I think that's going to be a stage where people start to discover character-specific punishes and you know. Just Padding more, drive impacting at the right time, and that's where characters like Honda might come down in the tier list. Yeah, that is really possible because right now no one has any idea. No one's like labbing character specific stuff. Mm. So everyone's just eating headbutts. They don't exactly know what to do. I mean, uh, the, the, <laughs> you're like making the Dalsim guide, so you have to be labbing with Dalsim so you can keep it updated. Yeah, but yeah, there is going to be a whole section about matchups and stuff. That's I think it's gonna take a whole year for me to write up. I don't know if anybody would still stick with the character or be reading the guide because I mean, it's, it's a living beginning. Game. And yeah, the people will, you know. Yeah, like a lot of people have seen it so far for like basic combos and driver stuff. Mm -hmm. um, this stuff I haven't written into it, but I feel like the target audiences are people who are just picking up the character for the first time. So. Uh, somebody in chat asked, "How is the character diversity in this tourney? Is it all just Kens?" I feel like so far we had a couple of Kens, a couple of DJs, a couple of Manons, one Marissa, one Zangief, uh, one Dalsim. Though I don't know if anybody saw that. Uh, did we have somebody else besides? Cammy? These? I think we had Cami. Uh, oh yeah, we had a modern Cami, which was very impressive. So yeah, that's a you know a decent variety of characters. So. Yeah. Also, we're not seeing a lot of top tier, so we're not seeing JPs. We're not seeing uh, well, DJ is kind of top tier, I guess. No gals, no looks. All right, let's go. Sienna versus Tejas. Sienna, let's. All right, I'm gonna keep count of the number of headbutts that land. That's two. <laughs> Actually, this this would be very interesting because Tejas wants to bulldog Sienna, and Sienna wants to bulldog Tejas. Let's see who dabs. Do the crazy style of the other person quicker. So you know, far, it seems even. Easier time doing all this. Is it Oli or Sienna? Sienna's playing, right? Sienna. 
Wait, is Oleander not in the tournament? He is. Oh, he. Okay, he got knocked out by Tina. This is not good for okay, Tejas Cena. Oleander could probably just. Mm. I keep calling her Oleander because of the in game name. But yeah, she could just keep pressuring him with headbutts and just chip him out. But for some reason, she's not doing that. Pressing a lot right, of normal. So I counted six headbutts that landed in that room. Ooh, good butt slam. Oh, that's a great punish on the punish counter. It does yeah, on punish it. counter it does, yeah. There are like a lot of goofy interactions with punish counter and specials in this game. Hey, what up, putsies? Mr. Rocky Yan, thanks for following the... Honestly, they just is doing counter. better against Sienna than a couple of other people we've seen so far. I think if you play a super offensive versus Sienna, she cannot really adapt to it. But when you stay super patient, that's our comfort zone. Alright, so there were nine headbutts in that first game, only three in the second match. On the second round, I mean. Ooh. Round start headbutts against a round start drive rush. You'd love to see it. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Behind and I were just talking about this, right? Like, how would you play against a player like this? I think Sienna has played so offensive and like so uh, headbutt heavy that Tejas is forced to slow down, and this is not Tejas' comfort zone. He is going crazy with okay. that, and I don't know if Tejas is trolling or whether. To be honest, if it's working, I would not stop either. But um, being burnt out against Honda is very bad. Diana just needs to put out one jab because Tejas doesn't have the HP to absorb that hit. So oh uh, yeah, you're during right. any of these yeah any of these driving packs, Diana could have just pressed any button and won the mm -hmm. round. But I think uh, both players were doing a little bit of trolling. As well. <laughs> <laughs> and now she's going ahead with the headbutt. They return the favor for all the driving fights. Oh, yeah, they just expected other head, but probably wasn't ready for the drive impact. Oh, I don't know why he got hit with that. I don't think she cares about the game anymore. No footsies, no street fighter. We're just going in with headbutts and drive back. That's the name of the game. Or this oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I haven't played against Honda. Is that super, like, how fast is it and is it invincible? Seems like it's invincible. It's invincible, but I don't think it's too fast. Yeah, uh, you really want to do some Oki on Honda, but that super mm. prevents you from doing that. That's super and he also has the EX uh, headbutt. EX headbutt. I think it's like frame one armor. Okay, I think Sienna's in a rough spot. I don't think she can get out I... of this. I yeah, he won this he round. Could... Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Sienna's go-to on Wake Up is either a Drive Impact or a Super. If she's in Burnout, you kind of can just do whatever on her and force her to block. That's that's how I was able to land my Gan throw loops on her as well because she relies heavily on the Super. Alright, Sienna's just content to headbutt for a while. Ooh, good DP punish on the butt slam. Good super punish. Wow, Tejas is waking up. He's on coffee right now. He's going for the launch combo. Is there going to be any dive rush then? No. I feel like she could have gotten a lot more of that. She has the full drive gauge to you know, use. Hey, what up, putsies? Mm, this could go either way. Uh, ooh, they just misses the follow but lands a throw. No, she's gonna block this. She just has to be a bit careful. Uh, one more headbutt. Oh, ooh, oh. yeah. They just was on burnout there. I don't think he could have done much. He just had to hit the headbutts or make a jump. Make a good read and jump. But even if you jump on his headbutt, you can't punish, right? Mm, not really, no. Mm. Maybe if you jump back, then you can get a punish, but it has to be near the corner. Otherwise, he just goes full spin. Mm. I think Tejas is just, uh, because I played Tejas before, Tejas is a really good player. So I think he, uh, he's just new to this game, still learning the systems. 
I feel like the, uh, we could see Tejas in future tournaments do a lot better. I think that's it. It's just the fact that he's new to the game because he has been playing, you know, the older games for a while. Mm. And he's a good player. Okay, I guess the last match we have uh, before top eight is Chibi Max versus Sefi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, give me a second for me to that? set it up. Uh, no, Sefi, take player one. Max is uh, Chibi Max in the lobby? He should be. Oh, yeah. uh, the right one, Okay, I'm, I'm ready to play. I'm sitting now. Uh, just wait, wait. Don't start there, though. Ooh. You're taking player one, no? Yeah, sure. Take player one. Okay. I'm gonna break my rule and pick the dirty cat. <laughs> Wait, man. I think against TV Max, that's completely valid. <laughs> Who was TV Max playing against? Sorry, he kicked uh, my Manon. ass. Manon, Manon. Oh, I ran through the Manon army today. Yeah, I just uh, played against <laughs> another Manon. <laughs> Uh, can Razor. you pick a training stage, by the way, because I think I'm having a few issues on any sure, stage. Sure, I'm gonna set training. my preferred stage to training stage. Yeah. I don't think it matters because you are you choose your own stage that you want to see go high. Uh, so I think you so. have to change it. Let me do that right now, man. I think you chose it to random, so every it is time random. It is it, random. It's a different. It's a different stage every time. It is random. Stage. I know this. Uh, it's kind of cool, but also weird. <laughs> it's very cool. But like I expected, man. in random, you'll get a random stage in the beginning and it'll be that stage for the whole time. But just mm -hmm. keep switching every match. Yeah. Okay, uh, Chibi yeah, Max cool. just you guys uh, can start, sat on player one, is that okay? Uh, oh no, I'm on player one now. You're on player one? Yeah. Okay, cool. He got up, okay. Alright, we're starting. Yeah. I mean, as soon as he requests. As soon as he sits down. <laughs> Alright, we're starting. Yeah, Spider-Verse adds it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that movie is really, really good, but like the, the ads are just so much. I think Twitch is just pushing Spider-Verse. Yeah. That's the only ad I see. I wish. In the Middle East, I only get Adidas ads. We have really lame ads here. No spice to them. Yeah. Oh. So, like, the Dalsim uh, around this is going to be like run around and poke her, right? Yeah, normally I don't play this lame, but against Manon I have to. I mean, you have to be aware of command grabs. Yeah. And Plus, like... uh, I so the cool thing about Dalsim as a character is that he has a lot of movement tools since as a five. And he just lets you move around the screen without committing to anything and just see what the opponent does. So when you figure out, okay, this opponent has this kind of habit, then you can commit to either offense or zoning or like commit to a single play style because he has multiple. That's what I like about him since there's a five. Uh, the thing is, can Manon like uh, grab Sims, like extend her boxes? I, uh, I don't know and I don't care. Grab. I think the hit grab she can. And I think the most she can do is uh, maybe EX hit grab through one of his heavy normals, maybe. But all of his heavy normals hit low, besides the kick. So it might not be the best option to do so. She has also, it's much easier the for me to talk through this match because it's my character. <laughs> and the thing is, I feel like Chibi Max, this is the first time he probably is playing Dalsim. And instead of going in, you know, instead of like hanging back and seeing what Sefi is doing, he's kind of going in, which is just playing into Sefi's game and he keeps hitting it with normals and running around the screen. Mm. I feel like if he just wait around a little bit more and was more reactive instead of just aggressive, I feel like he could do a lot better in this matchup. And like, you know, as a first time player. And as a, like, against a zoning focus character, you should not be like putting on your own offense as much as like reacting to the opponent's offense. Like. No, I mean like against a normal zoning character, it's not that bad, you know, going in. But like JP, you have to go walk and block, go in. But with Dalsim, he can move around the screen so much that it's hard for them to actually catch up. Because you go in, you go close to him, and then he just teleports back. He teleports behind you, does a fireball, teleports away. Nothing personal, kid. Nothing personal, kid. 
Don't hate the player, you hate the game. <laughs> That's just how this game is. I just hate both of, both of them. Just be a hater. I see that Chimmy Mike's not giving up though. He's still yeah. trying to go in. I mean, why would you give up? Never give up. No, I mean like he keeps trying to do the same thing. The that thing has n had has worked like maybe once or twice, and he keeps going for it. Yeah, we see it worked once, so like why not? But then he has to react to the DI. Seems to be a very seems to be a struggle for Chibi Max. And I, oh, why did he jump there? I think that's kill there. There was no need for Clean him to jump off. there, but that was you know Chibi Max tried. Yeah, Chibi Max tried. He's tried. Know, he, he did it. And he, you'll get there. Like there is nobody that plays this character, so. It's also not fun for me to win off of like, uh, you know, people not knowing the matchup and knowledge checks. Yeah. And then like as a grappler, you have to just keep going in somehow. You yeah, yeah. I mean, I chose the Dalsim life, you chose the grappler life. That's on both yeah. of us. <laughs> <laughs> GG's. We did own bad matchups. Ooh, I get to play Swagberg, fun. Mm, Swagberg's so... pretty nice. You okay, know, now and I went to... we have we take top a break? eight. Yeah, we take or a break. We... We take a break for like, I guess, of 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 ish minutes should be fine. Do we have anything yeah. to run while we are on a break, though? Uh, not really. <laughs> uh, it's, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, but we're gonna go and uh, move this entire setup to a custom room so it's a lot more streamlined. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can stop I the just read it in game, uh, in game chat as well. Uh, yeah. Look at the server. Oh, you know what? Yeah, tell everyone to check in so that we can yeah. see who's who. Exactly. So that, you know, we have us one place to. Did they play their match? I think. Who? I think only Devil and Windrunner played their they did. winners. Match. They did. Not top oh, eight shit. match. I think they did. They did. They did. Yeah. Um, I guess. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know who to blame. Should we blame our communication or what? I, I don't but know. We did say that we we're gonna stream top eight and then we we're gonna, gonna have. Uh, top eight. You it's know, we're fine. Have a break it's, the top eight, so it's fine. It's not fine. a problem. But yeah. Let's just actually just wait for like five minutes. We'll come back in a bit. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, just I'm gonna do my coffee. Next, but so. we weren't doing it in coffee.
Yeah, we can have the matches a bit later, but we can just keep like you know, yeah. watching on stream. Right, we are back now. I'm gonna invite Ace One on A Three. Oh, we have him immediately. Uh, yeah, oh, you was him. Ace. Me and him. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, you was him. Right, right. Good, right? Thank you, thank you. Should be hype by the way, Manon versus Marissa. Oh, Ace yes, yeah. already here. Cool. And do we get to see the Honda? <laughs> Uh, Kohai, you're recording the matches now, right? Uh, thank you for reminding me, dude. I'm doing yep. it now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No with all, with all that's happening. <laughs> yeah, you're streaming, you're playing, Please, you're recording. Okay, and you're streaming like... on two places, on Discord and the thing. Uh, yeah, like actually, 10 it's... things running yeah. on your PC. I hope you have a 1490. I do not. I have a 1650. <laughs> Bro, I need all of this? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Dude, Imagine, I really uh, wish I had a graphic card. It's, it's carrying so much. It's like it's, it's, that I'm not it's used to dying this. right now. Dude. dude, I think I think for the custom room thing, we should get all the commentators in the lobby itself, and yeah. then mm -hmm. have them spectate, and then you tell them specifically when to start. I mean that, yeah, I guess. But I mean, okay. you can always have uh, the thing, right? You can always be. You Hold can on. always Let be me, on uh, finish setting mode. up this. One second. Uh, Ace one one eight three, right? Um, oh, you know you what? Don't, what you don't, once you join the lobby, just stay in the same lobby. Yeah, Take yeah, player yeah. one. Take player one beyond. You... Oh wait, I'm not even in the lobby. Yeah. yeah. Could you invite Sefi22 as well? Wait, accept my friend request, a... man. Yeah. You, Dude, just you can join... do this thing where yeah. you just make a lobby for eight people and then have everyone there and tell them to just sit there and not do anything. Just make it for 16 then. Because we have top... Oh no, top eight players plus two commentators. Oh, like yeah, one yeah, extra yeah. Person. And 10 people. 10 people or like 13 it people. It is 16 people. Yeah, make it for 16 people and then just reserve every slot so that you can personally invite anyone you want to. Uh, I, I guess, yeah. Okay, anyways, uh, Beyond, get on uh, P1. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll join P1. Wait, are you streaming the thing on Discord? The matches? Uh, yeah, I'm going to. Otherwise, we can have Sefi just join in the lobby. So. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. okay. Is this not a problem? Then? It shouldn't be. I don't think so. I mean, it's your card. Dude. See, if he's doing a lot of work. Uh, Sefi, how about you just join? Screw it. Yeah. I don't mind. I'm just waiting for the invite. Uh, yeah. You think you can just, if he's in your friends list, you can just join in. That's what I keep telling him. Yeah, like, just do <laughs> room by friends. That's what I keep telling him. Oh, okay, yeah. Good night. To be honest, uh, I didn't hear you. I just did it because I was like, oh yeah, he, even if you didn't invite me, I guess. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. Good calls. I could join from my friends list. Indigo also coming in? Uh, I don't have the game installed. But it's fine, Nick. Let's do it. I'll be here. I'll be okay. Like, uh, you guys can go ahead now. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm on spectate, so. Okay, but both the inspected or Was it FT3, right? Uh, no. Is it FT2? FT yeah, we're what still doing FT2s. FT3s are oh, winners finals, finals losers finals, finals yeah. and grands. Losers finals, winners finals, and the grand finals FT3. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Right. You can stop streaming on Discord if you want. I'm doing okay. that. All right, guys. We're here with our first top eight match. Winner side. Behans Manon versus Aces Marissa. If you've seen these matches before, Aces Marissa has been pretty uh, on point uh, especially against Sienna's Honda and we see that Ace just started the round off with a good jump in ooh Bihan's gonna try to get it in and Ace is gonna do his plus moves on neutral ooh good command grab okay Bihan was not ready for the drive impact that was a pretty pretty significant round for Ace Ace had like complete control in that round yeah. All right, Beyond's turning good around. Yeah, or on the other hand, I think nobody knows the Marissa matchup either. And I love the way Ace is playing this neutral. Honestly, I'm gonna copy some of this stuff. All right. Ooh, good DI. Manon was not ready. She was trying to get him with a slide and. He is caught in lacking. Ooh, in the corner, this is the worst position to be against Marissa. That was a pretty quick game one. Yeah. 
Yeah. So against Marissa, if she does like a lot of frame traps on block, you have to parry her specials. Otherwise, if you block them, she's always plus. And then, she... man. Uh, based on this match, Ace is looking like the most practiced player here so far. Wow. I've never seen Beehaunt lose so badly before. He is on a new character that he's not used to, but still. Ace is looking very comfortable with Marissa right now. Beon stuck in the corner against Marissa again. Come on, Grab. Oh, yeah. Ace went for it, but Beon checked it at the right time. Okay, this is how it begins. Here comes the blender. Beon on three levels. Two command grabs will do it, or one combo and one command grab will do it. Okay, one more. One more hit should do it. Ooh, nice. Okay, now the momentum's in Behan's favor. Manon is on four medal levels. I think three command grabs will end the match. So look for Ace to not block this match. A eight would, yeah, okay. Punish counter. This is gonna hurt for a lot. Ooh, that's almost 50%. Uh, I don't think one command grab will kill. Now it will. Yeah, that's why I love Manon in this game because even if you lose, as long as you get your medal levels by the third round, the momentum completely switches. Yeah, and you can see the way the players interact with each other change as well. Marissa was completely in Manon's face for the first couple of rounds, but once Manon got level 5, Ace had to play a lot more defensive. Okay. Again, we reset reset the matches. Manon's back to level one, so now Ace is in his comfort zone. Ace is just wanna bulldog in and not let Marissa get any of those grabs started. Okay, we've seen this movie before. Ace is like really dominating Manon right now. Being drawn from Ace. I think Manon has better normals. I played my Marissa against Dennis's Manon, and Dennis was just keeping his distance and checking with standing light kick. It was hard for me to get in. Ooh, whiffs the command grab, that's not good. In the corner against Marissa. Ooh, misses the punish. This is bad. Uh, you can. Level 2 is a better anti air, that's the intended anti air. But any any move technically in this game can anti air. As long as the hitbox hurtbox. Ooh, that should be a punish. Nice. Ooh. You can see Ace knows that Behan wants to go for a command grab, so Ace isn't gonna let Be uh, like Behan get that. Okay, nice. Hmm. Manon is not quite at level 4 or 5 yet, so it's still in Marissa's favor, I would think. But if Behan lands one good combo, he's at level 4. Ooh! Yeah, Manon got air reset there, so Marissa didn't get her full ground punish. Yeah. Because uh, most of us just lap the ground punishes, we don't lap the air punishes. Ooh, Manon's in burnout. Oh, oh, that's not gonna hit. Nice. This is really bad because everything Marissa does is plus and you cannot parry her in burnout. Uh, that was... But Bihar looked really good in the second match, but overall I would say he didn't have much chances to Marisha's his rush down there. That was very oppressive. I did not know what to do. That was a 2-1 on Aegis favor, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. So, mm -hmm. let's see. Let's have the uh, uh, Sienna and on then then as well. Did Devil and Windrunner play their match already? I guess they, they did. Okay, I mean, no problem. I don't know, yeah. Alright, so our winner's finals is Ace is Marissa against only one Devil Zangief. We get to see a brawler versus a grappler match. That should be very exciting. And these two were my favorites after I saw their matches. Let me invite Dennis. He's offline on <laughs> the heck. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. We can do Sefi swag book then. We can. 
<laughs> uh, anyway, so I think I mean, so I could get in here. I'm waiting. I'm on player one. <laughs> no, but don't start though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, He's not here. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I have him on my friends list. Uh, maybe I can invite him. No, I'll invite. I got him. He's in Pochis. He's a lone Pakistani player right now, so... Oh, he's from Pakistan. He nice. Yeah. Also mm. rooting for it. It's good that Street Fighter 6 has brought a lot of our world, uh, you know, closer mm -hmm. together. Pakistan and India traditionally haven't had good connections in fighting games. Even in Third Strike, from what I've heard on Fightgate, mm -hmm. it's very spiky. It's like 200 MS, according to Behunt. You are uh, right. It is very pretty. Every other uh, let us know when we can start. Yeah, I will. Okay. Wait, are they both here? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, Swagbug's here. He requested a fight, but I didn't accept. No, I didn't. Are you guys on spectating on my station? I'm on spectating. Uh, oh, are you? You can start now. Starting. Alright, good luck, Swagbug. <clears throat> Still says, oh yeah, there. There is some. I feel like Swagpot's uh, habit of going in. Oh, that was a lot of fast forwarding. But yeah, Swagpot's habit of going in is gonna actually help him out, I think, if he can successfully do it. Sefi's good at keeping people out, and that's like Dalton's main, you know, one of his main game plans. But you know, Dalton can be aggressive if he wants to, and certainly against people who don't know the matchup, I think. Uh, he can... I mean, in the beginner stage, yes, but you know, he can. He has to be very reactive to what people do. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that is there, but this game has, you know, this game has parry, so you... That's not the biggest issue. It's mainly about getting to him and not letting him just deal, like, damage through stray hits and stray fireball hits. So you have to... Because that should add some, and then you, you're just dead. I think if we can just keep pressing. Oh, he did not have to switch sides. He did not have to switch sides like that. He could have kept him in the corner and then pressured him some more. And then. In the end. Oh, okay. That is. I, oh, I'm I, I sped up? Okay. I, I don't know how to. Is there a setting for that? Where this. Oh, I didn't turn. I did not do that. I did not do that. But... Well, I... I'm, I don't even know what to do. It's a very good drive impact though. I'm gonna... Here's the thing, I'm gonna watch the match and then and then talk 5 seconds later. <laughs> I'll think about what to say and then say it. So it looks like I'm a godlike stream, <laughs> like a godlike commentator. He's keeping him in the Oh, that's... N okay, that's a... That was a good sweep, but like, going out of, you know? You know what? It works. That was kind of... Uh-huh. It's kind of unsafe to go into, you know, a burnout like that, but it worked out for him, so... As long as it works out, you don't have anything to complain about. Oh my god. He's really getting into his face and you know, in a good way. Very well it's a bad way of getting in someone's face. 
No, dude, it's it's very. I am fast forwarded and he isn't, so I don't know what to say and when to say it without sounding like I'm making predictions. Oh, that's too much. He's being, he's being a bit predict, uh, very. What do you call it? Predictable about his drive rushes. And now that he doesn't have it, and that he doesn't have drive gauge, he's just hanging back in the corner. But he can still go in. He doesn't have to hang back. He's basically, he's basically just letting Dalton do whatever he wants by staying back. Is that a. Oh. I almost thought that was a taunt. Good match. Um. Oh, hey, can you can you stream on Discord for a second? Just because I I'll, I'll switch to the main settings after this one, but uh, yeah, because I'm like. I'm talking about the Uh, uh, swag bug. Swag bug, yeah. Oh, okay, there you go. There's a brief standstill there after the dive, there's no one know what to do. Maybe I'm waiting for reaction in this one. Dia, he on the fireball. I like how Swagpot's taking the time to parry stuff just to mm -hmm. get his drive gauge back. All the drivers as he keeps doing. Oh, he swine switched me. I couldn't punish. Damn. Oh. He was doing it, uh, but then he. Uh, I feel like there'll be a driver coming in very, very soon. He's, he maintains the distance for like two more seconds. He's gonna drive us immediately. So, nice jump check. Oh, he's at least twenty percent left. Twenty percent has left. Hold out, Sam. Oh, nice ground. Oh, I think he's safe. He was! He was safe, but he... He was safe, and then he did something else. But he's really good with the fans. When I saw the... You know, PJ having fans, I didn't think it'd be that aggressive, but man, that is... So good. This is hard, boys, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh, that was a very fun ending. Oh, was that an overhead? That, was that an overhead? Yeah, uh, yeah, I could have oh. blocked it standing, but yeah. That so, was very good by Smartwalk. GG's, very well played. So, the problem for me in that match was Smartwalk uh, would either EXTP or do a drive rush in neutral. Which actually is really good because as a Dalsim, I want to steal turns with my drill. So if I drill and he does the drive impact before the drill, I cannot drive him back back. So he basically nullified my entire drill game by doing that. So I was basically left to only play um, keep away with Dalsim. But mm. I like um, what I'm more comfortable when I can like do my drills in neutral, which he oh. kind of nullified. So that was very well played by him. I don't know if that was a knowledge that was the effort, but good on him. Now we're waiting okay, on Dennis. Streaming on Discord now. I switched the settings for fast forward. Cool, cool. Is Dennis here? He is not. Dennis? If he's not here for now, we can switch to the second match, otherwise, we might have to be two something. Hmm. Oh, is Dennis is here on the Let me message Dennis on Discord. I didn't ping him in Tony chat. Hope nothing happened to his PC again. 
I don't have his number, otherwise I'd call him. Yes. Hmm. Mm, what do you mean? It's fun. It's I like fun. it. Yeah. I decided that I'll, uh, any tournament that I could enter in SF6, I would. So, even though I'm on Hitbox today, it's fine. Like, uh, playing real players is like the best way to improve and learn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, ICFC, Footsies, Bi Weeklies, anything that's free, even if it's not free, I don't mind entering. Like, meeting people in the communities. Because uh, in SF5, I only played ranked. I avoided people in real life just because I thought it was too much work and that kind of stagnated me. So I think it's better for everybody if people just show up and play each other in tournaments. It's better for me as a player, it's better for my opponents. Everyone keeps, keeps playing, they keep adapting, they keep learning. Yeah. I would encourage anybody to do it. Anybody on stream who has never played a tourney before, you should come through. In our next bi weekly. If you want, you can always run the ICFC weekly. ICFC I think that's is... a weekly, right? Yeah, weekly. yeah, but ICFC, ICFC uh, is a bit more intimidating because there's a lot more players, there are a lot of good players. You could be on stream on I, I'm Still the Daddy's <laughs> stream, like I would. You can just shit talk him, yeah. I'm Still the Daddy's. And you shit talk by him, yeah. But this is chill, like, here when lost, yeah. doesn't matter, it's just experience. But still, it's a free tournament. You can everyone can participate, so don't let that intimidate you that you know there are better players. Because when you play better players, that's when you know like you know what your and it's not are, like, like what you can't deal with. So not, yeah. NS is not here yet. I'd say just let's go with the winners finals. Winners finals, finals yeah. Okay, let's get them both yes. here then. Are they in the room Ace already? No, right? Like, Ace is here. Are they in the room with us? <laughs> Is the winner's finalist in the room with us right now? Please, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Only one devil. Is he in. Uh... No, the devil is asking to. Yeah, yeah. I found him. He's It says offline, but I invited him. Yuji Rohan. Okay. Yuji Rohan, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Definitely gonna have check ins next time. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, are there any other free tournaments by the way besides ICFC? I'm not I feel like sure. that's I the only one I know. Yeah, I've seen. Mm -hmm. I mean the other ones I think like not like region specific, like maybe Europe or like It's my phone charge, I might hit the gym after this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Down my sorrows with dumbbells. Mm -hmm. Wow, my phone's at 14%, never mind. I'm busy. I don't know if I should take some stream. I see Lagslide asked for games in the streets of right, uh, Resource Club and not IFGC ever. Hey, reptiles will do reptile things. <laughs> um, oh, they're not starting yet? Uh, I told um, them. They can. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. switching to spectating. Vihan, did you change the option to? I did. He did. No fast forwarding on my end anymore. <laughs> All right. Are they allowed to start whenever? Yes. Yes, they are. Yeah. I told them in chat as well. One thing I noticed about Ace, he's okay. His Marissa was very oppressive. I didn't exactly know what to do when she got me in the corner or like he's up in my face. Yeah, but so he... is. Uh... Only one devil's Zangief, so this is going to be very interesting. I feel like uh, if Ace plays his regular game and gets up close and tries to do any block strings into charge specials, Zangief can SPD him in the gap. So let's see yeah. if he ends his combos early. But the only thing is, the thing is, if uh, only devil has been watching the game, so that he'll know about it. No, uh, not only this, These both of these players are in IFGC and I think they play each other a lot. Okay. Yeah, at least, like every day there's like a bunch of messages of players asking for games. So yeah. I think these two are two of the more active players. Oh, that was a nice grab. Okay. I, I'm assuming there will be a lot of adapting in this game then. 
I think he could have just punished it instead of blocking. But you know, as long as he didn't take damage, it's fine. Deck with the uh, parrying with these players, especially with Ace, where Ace could just block something regularly like a Lariat, but he parries instead. A good anti air. Mm, that parry was like a miss input. I think they wanted to drive rush. Ooh. Excellent reaction. Oh my god. Combo let them react with the counter DI. Wow, this looks pretty even so far. We might go into a round 3. Maybe I'm too early. Ooh. Ooh. still get. Uh... Yeah, she could have got a down back light punch from it. Oh, is it gonna hit? He still oh. has aim. That was I really good. Only one devil, yeah. I almost wrote him off. I thought we'd go to around three, but no. Empty jump into SPD, you know, it gets you sometimes. If it I works, it gets works. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I still remember our session. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Zangief one. Devil is up one. This is best three out of five, right? No, it's first to. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. First, first, to, first to three. See, I hope Ace makes some adaptations, not gets grabbed as much. And you know, with some pressure of his own. If he's in burnout, uh, you only have to care about SPD, the 5 frame grab. Otherwise, you can just go ham. Ooh, misses the meaty there. Gets counter throat back into the corner. I think this could be the end for Geef. Great anti air. Oh no. Gets nice with punish from Zangief. Oh no, I think it's gonna be it. I think it's gonna be it for Ace. And the situation's reversed, and I don't think he has any help for that. These rounds have been very close, but uh, mm. Devil has like a lot of clutch factor. He's able mm. to bring these rounds back, even though it seems like he's losing. I guess that's Zangi for you. One good read is all it takes. Mm -hmm. That was so good. Okay. Uh, Ace doesn't want to give him a repeat. Takes a to a combo like that. That was that was really good. I did not expect that. The fact that the proximity block range is so little in this game, you know, you can actually whiff on your stuff a bit better. Uh, I think this should be it with a level 3. Mm -hmm. Let's see what combos he has. Oh, Ace has been practicing his minus of BNBs. Oh, amazing. That was a great combo. And he'll take the match with that. Hey, uh, this is a pretty exciting match, 1-1. One, one. You know, I was wondering if we had any good Marissa players in India. I guess we have our answer now. Uh -huh. If anybody wants Marissa matchup knowledge, hit the pace, 1183. <laughs> Ooh. Man, Hanma looks like he's on the back foot now. He's, uh, he's not playing his usual game. He's whiffing his SPDs. He's misjudging his ranges. He could have gotten whiffed too. Burn out real soon, and he seems to be whiffing a lot of SPDs. And I don't, I don't really see what he's trying to read or react to. Yeah, I think this is it for him. Mm. He's finish it with a super one if he wants to. I think so far everybody's like played uh, on the back foot against Zangief. You really don't want him to get close, but Marissa doesn't care. Marissa just wants to go in and press punches. That was a good perfect mm. parry. And uh, wow, Wait, another uh -huh. whiff forward medium kick into SPD. Okay, Devil's oh, looking for he's again. He's in burnout. He's gonna get stunned again. Marissa you don't want to be in burnout. Yeah. Especially against a guy like Marisa. She has it now. Are we gonna see a full level three combo? We just might. Yep. That's a repeat of uh, the second match. This is not gonna kill though. It's gonna be heavily scaled, and Zangief has a lot of HP. But I next. He didn't, I didn't. I don't think he's had to do that. I think he could have just had one mix-up into a. Oh, misses the anti air not like this. Ah, uh, nice jab back jab. It's no, it's two one Marissa, yeah. Yeah, two one Marissa. The match by days. You're still a bit forward, huh? Like a two three seconds forward. Oh, maybe. Oh, nice running EXP I grabbed and see it coming. 
Yeah, exact like speedy. One more grab might do it. Ace might hold up, so Zangief can go for a block string instead. Nice. Third SPD does it. If his OD moves work out, then it's pretty good for him. But like in the other matches, he was getting uh, whiffing them a lot, so yep. he was There's just burning out before of... he could do anything. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of adaptation from both players. I think when Ace was being super offensive, uh, mm -hmm. Devil wasn't able to deal with it, but Devil just won that round pretty handily, and Ace is playing more defensive. So we're going um, back and forth. One player actually... is more. I feel like that's an instant thing where you see her charge up a move and then you react with drive fight. I know He's that I've done it. This time. Um. I don't know if I'm ahead of the stream if my commentary doesn't make sense. It's like a few seconds here and there maybe. No, no, that's fine. Uh, is that 2-2? Two -two? I think we're going to a final match. Yeah, I think that's 2-2. Two -two. I think they don't know that we, we have to continue. Oh wait, they do. Oh, they do, they do. Um, okay, both players are playing pretty patiently this round. They know that it's all come down to this, so... Oh, that's good. Ace was holding up. He's ready for the grab this time. It's good end here by only devil, but the grab gets whiffed. Oh, that was an amazing air EX Bosch dynamite. Oh, nice read. You can you can see the adaptation from the first match. Like both players are playing so patient now. Ace was just running in and like bulldogging Devil, but now he's on the back foot. And honestly, Devil seems like he's way more comfortable now. Nice with punished by Devil. I mean, I guess with Gif, you need to read a lot, and once you play two games, you kind of see what they're doing and you adapt to what. Okay, you this know? isn't going to kill because of the perfect parry, but next combo or next grab does. And that's it. Good games by Yuji Rohan, my aka only one devil. Man, that was really exciting. It came down to the final match, huh? 3 2 devil. I think we've seen that a couple of times in this tournament where. The matches start, both players are very offensive, or one of the players is very offensive, but as soon as they eat something that the other player does, they get conditioned and they slow down, and I think that's what happened here, where Ace was just playing their regular game for the first couple of rounds, but once, start, uh, once Devil started gaining momentum, Ace had to slow down, and that's not their comfort zone. And they just let Devil come close and grab them. We're still waiting, waiting on Dennis, right? I, mean, I guess we just have to DQ him. I guess we just DQ him. Okay, and Dennis messaged me. Light on the fritz, power doing the mix-ups. Let me try and <laughs> shit on my phone battery. Give me like five minutes. If it works, I'll be there. If it doesn't, DQ me. Okay, okay one thing you can do is... When did he no, message Dennis, you that? No, no, he messaged me 10 minutes ago. Okay, yeah. DQ me whether the battery has fried. So Dennis is having light issues. Maybe the inverter isn't working. The phone battery isn't working. That's my own phone. Let's just push Sienna ahead. Sienna and oh, Windrunner. Yeah, now we have uh, Windrunner versus Sienna. Uh, is Windrunner the modern Kami? Yes. I believe so. Oh, that's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. Modern Kami versus uh, Headbutt the character. Mm -hmm. If he can react properly, since he's modern, I think he'll get every Headbutt. But that is if he can react. Mm. To be fair, we've seen more than just headbutts from Sienna. We've also seen Wake Up Love and Supers. Yeah. But we have seen... Uh, no, she's a two-trick, not a one-trick. She's a two-trick pony. <laughs> but we have seen Winner uh, block on, you know, the other person's Wake Up. He doesn't go in all the time. So... 
might not be good for Siena if Vinor keeps playing like that. I don't know. I think between Vinor's playstyle and Siena's playstyle, Vinor might have the disadvantage because Vinor will do a lot of EXDPs on wake up, but if Vindrana is just playing very antsy and just moving around the screen, Honda completely stops that. And I don't know if Vindrana is comfortable with just sitting there, you know. She wants to, or he wants to, or they want to move around the screen and do a lot of special moves and stuff. Honda doesn't really jump at you. He just wants to fly across the screen and that's hard to DP, I guess, even if you're on modern controls. Yeah. But... I don't think he should. I don't think Honda should eat as many wake up DPS from winner like they just seen did. Shouldn't I say? But let's see what happens in the game. Uh, is Winrana in the lobby? Uh, no. Who's I, I, I forgot his like. Uh, wait, wait, you gotta. He can. He's he's one of my viewers from YouTube. So okay. I added him as a friend. So I think he saw that. All right. Probably so. Kicked. No problem. Yeah, actually, it doesn't really matter because we have three slots. Yeah, yeah, as long as yeah. Uh, I need to I mean, get Windrunner's <laughs> ID. <and... laughs> oh, Sefi, you have this uh, spectator thing off, right? Yeah, I have the slowdown the off. Oh, the fast forward. I mean, the fast forward off. Yeah. So maybe it's like a system issue then that I'm a bit slower because I have the game on my hard disk and not my like SSD. SD, SSD yeah. Could be. I think it's probably that. Uh, wait, Windrana is Excelsior on Discord, right? I'm forgetting. That's what you said. I think. I'm not sure. No, no, he's Excelsior, yes. Was there in game name uh, Windrana? <laughs> Windrana, yeah. I think There's so. an IFGC. I think you can just find it like that then. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm inviting him. I already invited him. Okay, okay. Uh, Swagbug is in here. Uh, hmm. Could have Beyond versus Swagbug. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, no, Windrun is here, Windrun is here. Yeah, yeah we'll just yeah. do this match, yeah. Wait, we're doing which one? Uh, Sienna was the winner, no? Okay, okay, cool. Which one's is the losers' finals? It's the it's round <laughs> seven, we're right? Winners of these two against each other, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Winners of these two against each other, then the winner of that against Ace. That's Ace. the losers' finals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fifty-two to them. Then. This is loser semis, right? Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Two mm. out of three. Yeah, yeah loser semis. No, not this one. It's the next one. The next one is loser. Round six is the loser semis. Then round seven is losers. Losers what quarters? This is, I think, losers quarters. There's four. Anyway, I guess the nomenclature doesn't matter. No, we just like this is FT two. The next one's FT two, and then right. against Ace is FT two. I'm gonna root for CNI honestly now. Not because I have anything against Windrana, but I feel like our top two players are very skilled, and it would be hype to see a. And putting Wake Up Supering on to take the whole tournament. Uh, are you streaming on Discord? Then I'll switch to Discord. Because I think we'll be on the same page then. Oh! Good counter DMS, you know. Uh, that should be. Yeah. Alright. So, Winter and East to slow down and stop moving across the screen. Wait to see what Sienna does and react accordingly. Because these headbutts, bro, they are a noob trap. If you just spam headbutts and you're against a player who's relatively new to the game, they just don't know how to handle it. Also, and they might think that jumping is a good idea, but that are actually a very good anti-air, the headbutts, so, you know. He tried to do a hooligan, I saw, and, and then he got... Has got Ooh, amazing block by Vindra. So, Vindra has one combo, that's jab, 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 drill. But, uh, hey, as long as it keeps the job done. Got them to lose his quarters. Oh, the way. So I guess the super one's the worst, but not for Sienna. I like Winter has more combos than just that. That was actually kind of good. That was a great punish. That was a good punish. Punishing. Shout out 
shout out to MGC typing out the maze theme in chat. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people are comparing Honda to Mei, but remember when Mei came out, people were comparing her to Honda. So <laughs> Honda came first. <laughs> yeah, it's a cycle where Honda came first. Uh, it, it was the same for Charlotta and GBVS. She was like the Honda of that game. So, Honda, Honda is the OG, guys. Honda is the originator. Mei is a cheap copycat. Oh, I think oh. we're going to take this one. We're gonna. We're actually seeing some new nifty stuff from Renner now. We just see like hooligan conversions from him. I think he's gonna go ham with the drive. Oh nice. no! That was a really good run by Renner now, He was very oppressive. Yeah, I was doing knowledge checks, and Renner is like, you know what? I do have the knowledge. I've been studying. Yeah, she's got to stop doing the wake up supers. He's not hit. I don't think he got hit by a single one so far. Yeah. And you know, I'm surprised. I thought Rindana would be playing very uh, offensive, but no, they, they've slowed down. They know Sienna wants to do headbutt, so they're just gonna react. Oh, oh. That, there's your modern DP. Amazing. Oh my god, just jab through it. Did not even care to drive impact them back. It just. As long as it works, I don't care. Excellent DP. Man, good jab checks. Not ready for the DI though. Okay, good, good, nice. Oh, oh. Not ready for the wake up super. You can't really do an overhead like that over there. It's like 20 frames, you. It's very slow in it. Well. Ooh. I guess Renata was just hoping there's a gap there she could uh, he could EXTP and yeah there was. Sienna ended up dropping the combo and eating a DP to the face. This uh Renata one. From Renata no. one Sienna Zero? Oh you mean the last match? Yeah. Yeah. Rindra. Rindra's up. Oh does that work? Oh, yeah, yeah. Does it actually work or was it just a little slow? No, no, no. But... I don't think that works, but yeah. Um, Could be wrong, though. Uh, Maybe. Sienna needs to, needed to block there. He, she ate the life on like uh, are three. We done? Are are we we done? Done? We're, we're done. Oh, that happened so fast. Man, that was I'm, not just, I'm not gonna say Honda is scary character, guys, but. We have a platinum classic Honda just lose 2 0 very quickly to a silver modern Cami. That's all I'm gonna say. It's up to you to decide, okay? The numbers speak for themselves. I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, Alright, now we have Beyond Boss Swag Bug. Give me a second to set this up. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Sienna just had to block and let him complete. I think he was gonna just keep that nail piece and he'd be out of range. Take B1 Beyond. Soon as she was... What? There one? one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, you saying? I think I might have to keep the Honda alive. Hmm. After this one, though. After this one. No. Honda comes back next bi weekly. Please. <laughs> Not bi weekly, I'll do it in the next round. Oh, you're gonna fight the Marissa with Honda? No, I'm gonna fight the Kami with Honda, and then maybe I'll fight the Marissa with Honda as well. Don't do my guy, uh, Vendor, like that, man. Okay, okay, okay. But but Ace, he already messed up my man on. So I think I'll probably yeah, go with Ace, Honda yeah. for a match. I'll allow it, I'll allow it. <laughs> right, you guys can oh, start. Wait, matchmaking error? Let's mm -hmm. go back. It's like a P1. First time chat from Tenro. Modern is not the issue, you are. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Alright, get ready to spectate. Yeah. You guys started yet? Mm, I don't know if they have. Waiting for the battle to begin. They have not. You guys can start if you want. There you go. Okay, There's a bit of a delay. Alright, we have our uh, fellow commentator, Behaunt.
versus the only Pakistani player, Swagpak. I don't know who to root for, so I'm gonna try to be neutral here. Uh, you can use him to shimmy her and I think Manon has a good anti-air but uh, if the DJ does like a fake upswing, she cannot cover that angle across the angle. Oh, that was a very good feint. He could have been punished if that was up kicks but because it wasn't, he was able to recover in time and punish. Oh, apparently that's not negative. Eh? Good start today. Eh? We aren't gonna finish with hit crab. Yep. Level three now. Oh, that, that was a low yolo wake up by Swagbug. Okay, Bihon barely won the first one, but now he has all the momentum because of three medals. Oh yeah, that too. Ooh, good DI from Swagbug. Bihon wasn't ready. Swagbug gonna drive Russian? Nope. Here. Man, so this is the same problem I had against Swagbug. I think I know him, but then I don't. I think he's gonna drive rush, but he throws a fireball. I think he's gonna throw a fireball, he ends up drive rushing or drive impact. Yeah, and, and Swagbug loves this character. He also played him in SF4, so I'm glad he found his character in 6. And the character is really good, so Swagbug can. Oh, the Beyond went for a very cute reset there, but Swagpuck was ready. A grab would have killed there, but it's not very plus. Oh, wow! Man, Swagpuck showing insane knowledge with DJ. That was a very good angled anti air. Oh no. Oh, Beyond dropping. Combo that could have been like a level three combo and done a lot of damage. We got ready with that. Yeah, he should be dead if Bihan finishes his plate. He did not. Uh, Swagpuck could do a wake up level three. That's it. And Bihan ready. For yeah. I guess Bihan uh, has practiced Manon but hasn't had like a lot of real matchup experience with her yet. That happens to me sometimes where I practice combos in training mode and then stop all of them in real matches. Are all the players we know? Yeah, probably, yeah. Good jump in by Behan. Nice combo, about 25%. Oh, that's gonna be death, I think. No, Behan could have finished with the level 1, but instead chose to go for more medals. Uh, no, but uh, DJ had just whiffed a EXTP, so he could have done a bunch of normals into level 1. But that's fine, because Behan had a big life lead, so any normal would kill here, and he gets the medal for the next round. So, in, in hindsight, it was a good decision. Okay, Swag Bug's in trouble here. He's in the corner, Beyond's at level 3. Ooh! Swag Bug ready with a throw. Expected a throw, but instead, Beyond went for a DI and got grabbed. Okay, DI ends up hitting. It's gonna do decent damage. DJ has like a lot of damage with Little Meter. To, to do the level 3, this would put Behond very close to burnout, but not quite. Another DI would burn him out. A couple of heavy normals would burn him out. One more hit. No. If he had the trouble, one guy would do it. Ooh, he had the right idea. He went for the shimmy with the feint, but Behond ended up having him, but works out anyway. Yeah. I mean, he had the right idea. His bait worked, but he just uh, either mistimed it or ha didn't have the right distance. Oh, Behan should have been ready for that grab. Now gets cornered himself. He's in trouble. Behan will probably look out for a DI from Swagpug. 
good drive rush grab. DG's drive rush is like the fastest in the game, it's really hard to react to. Yeah. So it No bo both Jury and Kimberly have really fast drive rushes and they cover a lot of distance. DJ's doesn't cover as much distance, but it's way faster at startup. It's like a turbo jet engine. There's the combo I was looking for. Level 3 combo by Behind, I think. This should be it. Honestly, I think that could have gone either way. Uh, yeah, Swagpug had really good moments in that game. It just comes down to a couple of decisions. Yeah, I'm not gonna disagree. That was he should be possible. pretty happy with his performance. He could definitely won the moment. Alright, with that, we say goodbye to Swagpug and we say goodbye to P. Hans Manon. <laughs> I mean, there's still a window there, so I don't think I'm gonna switch to Honda immediately. Okay. Alright, Left now we have mm -hmm. uh, winners, semis, uh, that is Behond versus Windrunner. Should I go to player one or player two? Uh, go to player one. Okay. Is Windrunner in the room? Yeah, he is, he is. Okay, cool. Just tell him now. He's setting up stream. Stream is set up. Okay. Yeah. From the match. You guys can start when you want. Yeah, yeah you guys. Okay. Oof. Yeah, we had a lot of no-shows, yeah. Alright, so Behorn has been commentating all of Windrun's matches, so Behorn should know what to look out for. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody gets hit by one day, no one's ready for it, but once you get hit once, I think you always have your finger on that button afterwards. You know, I feel like so far, uh, everybody is expected, like, performed like we expected them to, but for me, Windrunner is like the breakout player of this tourney. Like how HTX was in our, one of our striped Tonys when he first showed up. Oh, Beyond's gonna block this. Oh, what was that parry? I think that was a misinput. Beyond probably tried to punish with something. I think he like expected a DI, but he like delayed the DI enough to like. No, but the super is very punishable, right? So he could have just grabbed or done any combo. Still, Beyond takes it. A uh, couple of mistakes there, though. I wonder if Behind adapts. Okay, level 3 grab. Two more grabs should do it. Mm. Beyond knows that Winter Run doesn't want to stay still now. The threat of the grab is too high. I think Behind was looking for a DI himself. He was ready for Winter Run to DI, but Winter Run ended up. Yeah. No, I think Windrunner ended up doing a special, so Beyond's like, okay, I, sh I should DI anyway, it's gonna hit. Yeah. Alright, I think uh, even though she's a level 3, next grab should kill. <laughs> okay, punish, nice. Yeah, I think Behind has the right approach. Just get a life lead and just chill and wait for Windrunner to do something very negative. Yeah. Uh, honestly, every player can play a defensive because of parry and stuff. You just have to look out for drive rush grabs and stuff like that. Oh, I'll be ready with your NTS. I think we have B Haunt is has this matchup pretty much figured out. 
go in, get a good lead, sit back, wait for the drive impact or just wait for her to jump and tear. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. I don't play this character. I don't think it is. I think it's only positive on hit so that you can go for a strike throw afterwards. Oh, Winner just walks into her normals. Yeah. yeah. It was the dream run of Winner. It was pretty high by it happened, but Behorn. Had her figured out, and Windrunner probably didn't know what to do. I keep saying her because it's Cammy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, and with that, we have uh, Ace versus Beyond and Losers finals. Uh, Losers finals. Do we do Winners Finals first or Losers Finals? Wait, hold on. We've done Winners Finals. Yeah, did oh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. my bad. Wait. Oh, yeah. So we have Losers Finals now and then Grand Finals. Yes. Yeah. yeah, my bad, my bad. Uh, Beyond, do you want to like arrest because it's like two matches back to back for you? Yeah, no, no, no. Right. All right, guys. Here comes the best Honda in India. No pressure. <laughs> Our uh, the in only Indian rep in ICFC top eight came top four, by the way. No big deal. Hmm. The casual Beyond shell. Pratik supporting Pratik. Of course, we Pratik's gotta look out for each other. Right. Uh, did Ace leave the lobby or? Are they no, he's still here. You guys can start whenever. Um, we can start. Yeah. To join me. Okay. Let's start the match, bro. There we go. All right, here's our losers finals Honda versus Marissa. Let's see how this one goes. So far, Aces Marissa has been really excited, and even though I'm rooting for Behan, his Honda is very boring. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I'm kind of torn here. Let's see how both players play the neutral. Yeah, and so far we've only seen Sienna's Honda's. Behan's Honda's actually solid despite all my trash talk. He has a lot of good Kara command grabs. He doesn't go completely ham with headbutts. He has very nice headbutt timing. So this is going to be very challenging for Ace. But again, Behan probably doesn't know the Marissa matchup, so Ace is no slouch either. Ooh, excellent. Uh, yeah, OD headbutt. Does two hits. He has everything, man. It's invincible. Does two hits. Uh, oh, OD. Sorry to interview there, but yeah, OD headbutt is not safe. It's very unsafe, actually. It's like a proper EXDP. Man, Ace won off of one interaction, huh? That excellent drive impact interaction. That's Marissa for you, man. She does insane damage, so better not get hit. And Beyond is ready this time. Hits her with the reverse drive impact. Ooh, misses is confirmed. Nice, perfect parry. Feel like Ace has played against Honda before, for sure. Oh, nice lamp. Haven't seen that move used like that before. Oh, going for the easy level 3 combo. It's probably worth it. He's one round up and. This would put Behond one hit away from losing if Ace completes his driver rush combo. Oh, misses the drive impact, wasn't ready for the air confirm. It's risky. Technically, both players are one hit away from losing, but Honda would need more than a hit, but one command grab would do it. is ready for the jump in. You never see it coming man, he just zooms across the screen and before you know it you've been command. 
Yeah, because so when Hunter drive rushes, if he does a command grab, the drive rush just carries momentum. But if he does the down forward HK, it does. So he covers more distance for the Kara command grab. Perfect KO by Behar. Wait, is it 2 0 already? 5 1 0. Yeah. EX Edward, Ace was not ready for it. Oh, this should be a big combo. Oh, chooses to go for a butt slam reset instead of ending with a headbutt. Ah oh, man, that's not fair. I don't know man. I don't know if that should stay in the game yet. <laughs> it's hype when it happens, but when it happens to you, you hate it. Yeah, because Sienna is not ready for it. Behind is ready for it. Wow, it's another extra muscle. I feel like there's nothing Ace is doing that's bad. Ace is playing this matchup right. It's just that Behind's decisions and timings are just better. Like Behan times his headbutt so perfectly that whenever Ace wants to move forward, he gets hit. But when Ace is baiting the headbutt, Behan doesn't do it. Another excellent headbutt. 2 0 cleanly for Behan. I was looking rough at the start in the first match, first round, but so far after the first round, it's been pretty one sided, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, big jump in. Carter charging a punch. You see some of the flaws of Eurus is neutral now, where it's hard for her to get an outside of drive rush and if she charges something. You can, get, you can get like a free jump in on her if she times, doesn't time it right. So even though Behan's in burnout, he's been winning neutral so far. Completely. Yeah, I mean that's what I read, that's what I thought, but you know. I guess it's, it's to be fair, like, I feel like, uh, Behan is just more practice and more skilled with his character than Ace is right now. Even though Ace is like the most impressive Marissa I've seen so far. I think it's just like a difference in experience between both players. Oh, oh that was like a game losing drop I guess. I didn't even know it worked from that far, wow. Yeah, so Behan has this habit where if it's like a clutch situation, he has this thing in mind he wants to do that's gonna be super sick and he just wants to do it and he wouldn't do anything else and he just gave him that opportunity to do that. That's, 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 that's a clean. My brain stops and I only focus on one thing. Clean it's very bad. Oh, dude. Damn. But no disrespect to Ace, he played really well played all throughout the tournament. Well, yeah. Even in that match, I don't think there is anything he could have done differently. It's just, it'll come with experience, it'll come with fighting more Hondas, more skilled Hondas. Uh, where to time everything properly and stuff. Like there was no clean mistakes or like uh, very obvious mistakes from Ace, I guess. So nothing to be ashamed about, very good run. And now uh, we wait for only Devil to join the lobby. Are you back on Manon for gift? Oh uh, yeah, let's see how I do, and then I will think about picking Honda. But damn, you, you want to break now, Behan? <laughs> no, I'm good. It's okay. You had four matches in a row. Yeah, it's not so mentally taxing. 
I, I mean, guess. if this was a very defensive round, then I would be like, oh, I'm tired, I gotta play. But I was so offensive and, you know. It, it so just there's happened, less guess. thinking when you're offensive. Yeah. yeah. Once you get comfortable with the character, you can just uh, autopilot sometimes. You know? Yeah. Uh, don't it's less like uh, too. It's less doable in this game because of the insane mental stack. But in SF5 or, you know, older SFs, I think Behon could just play any of his characters and just talk. I oh, mean, he does. Should we start? Should we start? Not I'm actually I didn't put as much time to learn anything, so I only went with like fucking, you know, who are, like I played Urian, so just autopilot with them like ninety percent of the time. Yeah. And even when I wasn't autopiloting, I didn't exactly know what to look for. And what I guess do. when you I stream, you can start. It also develops that uh, thing in you where you can play and talk at the same time. I know. You can start beyond. Okay. Hmm. You don't want to come your own match? No, no, no. 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 I'm joking. No. <laughs> that, that would be. <laughs> hmm. I mean, man, my partner's been out of commentary for half the tourney. <laughs> <laughs> He's been busy winning. I see a seven win streak on Beyond's name in the lobby. How many matches? I think it was this match and then. It was like, it was just round five, six, and seven, like back to back. Um, Alright, guys, we're ready for our grand finals. Beyond versus Yuji Rahanma. Beyond's chosen to go with. Uh, Manon. Manon. So we're gonna see a grappler versus grappler matchup. Has the match begun yet? <laughs> No, no, we started like I was gonna spectate it and they just left it. Hmm. We just started so you can come spectate it. And there we go. Mm. I feel like if Behan loses round one, we're gonna see Honda straight away. I don't think he's gonna be too much. Yeah, this could be real here yeah, for sure. I mean, either way, we're gonna have a pure grappler win the tournament. Yeah. And all these grapplers were complaining about this game. Look. Uh, hi. Oh. Name grandfather, like the name. <laughs> Right, we see the difference in both characters. Minon has better normals to keep Zangief out. So, outside of the sweep range, I think Behan is better control, but once inside, you're gonna eat a SPD like any other character. Oh, it's in level 1, but no, it doesn't. It has like very funky range and distance, so... He had the right read, he had the right reaction, but just the distance wasn't close enough. Ooh, that could have been bad for Devil, but Beyond wasn't ready, he wasn't close enough. He's gotta look out for a slide here for Beyond. Devil has the right idea, he's just putting. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Beyond should save for level 2 for NTR. Yeah. It is possible, but you have to be like really timing and space specific. Ooh, excellent DI. So, here's the drawback of that Manon button. It keeps Zangief out, but if you are not ready for the DI, then the DI eats it. No. The heart isn't gonna fuck the combo. Okay. Uh, I think Zangief's grab still out damages Minon's right now, except now Minon's at level 4. <laughs> now, one character is like a thin French woman, one guy is a big Russian guy, but both hit for the same damage right now. And after one more grab, Minon's gonna out damage Geef. <laughs> nice running bear grab, Minon wasn't ready. I think uh, Devil can get away with more running bear grabs against Minon. Stuck in the corner though, now the threat of the grab is too high. Um, Yuji Rahanma is just jumping now and wake up. 
He doesn't want to stand still, doesn't want to get grabbed. One grab's not gonna kill him, so he can eat one, but it's not worth it. Ooh, excellent confirm from Bihan. Nice anti air into level 3. I don't think this will kill because he's not at CA yet, but it's gonna be close. Let's see if she gets okay off of this. Choosing not to go in. Ooh, here comes the button again. Yeah, Zangief couldn't DI this time, so. Nice, it was close, but it was a pretty clean victory from beyond, so we don't see a switch to Honda yet. Nice punish down to throw. Ooh, we see the same interaction, same button, gets di gets SPD in. That was out of knock. Drive rush into drive impact. Beyond wasn't ready. Yeah, I think this is what this matchup comes down to. Beyond wants to use that button to keep Zangief out, and Zangief wants to time his DI right. That's pretty much it. Nice anti air combo. Another one. Okay, gets a level 2. He exposed dynamite. Yeah, I think that was a read. Yeah, I think you're right. I think Beyond needs to stop that right here. Good for cheese here. Is that yours? Okay. Okay, nice clean little combo. I feel like Bihan. I don't play the characters, so I don't know, but I think Bihan could end the combos in a head grab and get more level on the system but instead of uh, doing that they're doing a just a regular combo no head grabs nothing it's working so far then ooh goes for a di gets the xspd no behonds needs to stop doing that move i think they should just like ban that move from behonds controller and he would do so much better in this one I don't think he's used to like thrice or four times till now and hasn't worked so far. It's just, I think it's not invincible, it's just a very fast super. So Behan is trying to get uh, Zangief pressing buttons or trying to learn the anti air, but I don't know, he's just messing his timing up, I guess. Not, 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 not by the buttons. Drive rush, get pushed back, drive rush again. And got it here. So put beyond one hit away from losing, or like three jabs should do it, I guess. Alright, is on now. Uh, Bernard, we're playing Super Turbo right now, and we can see a switch now. Alright, this is uh, tournament point only devil. Bihar needs two wins to reset the bracket. Only double just. I think this is an out of left field for Devil. He probably expects Bihar to switch, so he should be watching the matches and is probably ready for a Honda. I think this, like the last match came down to Manon's medium kick or whatever that command normal is. I think this will come down to who lands the better drive impact. I wonder, can Zangief Lariat headbutts on reaction? I guess we'll find out. Hey, 
Here comes the. No, they should trade. I think. Headbutt is not invincible. It loses to fireballs and normals. I. While we were talking, only one devil just landed a perfect finish to the first round. Man, beyond. I don't know what beyond thinking it does. Beyond want to do more headbutts. Because I don't think we saw one headbutt in the first round. Yep. And that's the right answer to butt slam. Only one devil's been doing his research. He knows the answer. He's been labbing. But just like, yeah, we got a hot perfect from Bihart. You know, he just got hit once, I think. Yeah. But Bihart's walking himself to the corner, though. I don't think that's the wisest choice. And so walking. Oh, nice lariat. Back throw? No. Ooh. Okay. First round was a perfect, but Bihan seems to be in his element now. Once he gets in, like he's not afraid of Zangief, he just wants to continue the pressure. And one hit would do it from either side. Not either side, I mean Hunter's side. I think uh, Devil wants to land to see you now. Otherwise, be hard. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because, because he knows and Behan knows that Behan can just spam headbutt and Zangief cannot do anything in Burner. Oh, that's the answer. It was, for sure. Ooh, nice parries. SPD? No. Let's see, exit by it. Okay, both players playing the mid range. I think Honda has an advantage in the mid range because of that. Tops the combo. That could have been a very big combo. Oh, he. That's. Yeah, that's what we call the Snacker Special. Honda should do a full punish. He has the V-Skill up. Okay, chooses to send Zangief across the screen. Make him work hard. Yeah. Man, Behan's timings are really good. Like, I never probably expected Behan to just spam Hedgebird as soon as possible. But he waited. He knew that he doesn't have to do anything. He just has to... Wait for the right moment, and he found the moment. It's a reset point, Beard, by the way. One more round, Beard's uh, reset the bracket. I can just bully Zangief now. Zangief doesn't have any answers. Oh wow! It's the to finish. Is that gonna kill? Did he win two with Manon or just one? I don't remember. One, one with Manon, two with Honda. Two with Honda, nice. So one minute break because of the reset. We can start again. Oh no, that's it, that's it. That's it. Yeah, he just wanted to go back to the lobby to say it was a reset. Well, you board stars, thank you. <laughs> no. Okay, ready to start the match, right? Hey man, he's a fellow porn star. What? Here. Oh. Ah, uh, yes, Behind is player one. 
All right, so we have a reset in our grand finals. First to three, Beyond versus only one devil, Sangi versus Honda, whoever wins wins this, takes the whole tournament. Uh, so far, Beyond looks very dominant in the first set. So let's see if there's any adaptation from only one devil. Uh, he's choosing to be way more jumpy this round. I don't know if that's advisable. Maybe he's trying to condition Behaunt to sit still and go for headbutts. But Behaunt uh, is looking very comfortable just walking back and forth. Not content to just sit crouch blocking the entire game and doing headbutts. Ooh, nice bait with the low headbutt. Gets a full punish, counter punish. Again. You can see the experience from playing Honda since the start. And he's, he did this a lot in ICFC2 where he found that people had punishes for headbutt so he would do a low headbutt to bait something and then punish whatever answer they tried to do. The fake out isn't working. Yeah, so if he had done a heavy headbutt there, he probably would have recovered but because he did low, he got uh, behind. So again, everything is RPS. No one thing is, you know, one size fits all. Everything has its counters in this game. <laughs> it's a DI though, they should be it. DX is PD, yeah. A lot of damage. Alright, even though it's 1-1, one, one, I feel like uh, Beyond is still in his element. I think Yujirohan uh, was trying out different things to see what can work and try to set up a game plan. I, I think he expected the dry rush to complete, but Beyond stopped it earlier. Beyond is trolling. He's. Uh, He's, yeah, I know, he's going goblin mode. That's gonna be, yeah, it's coming overwhelmed him, like you said. Uh, only one devil didn't expect that. For two rounds, Beyond played completely patiently, then switched it up into goblin mode, and only one devil had no idea what was going on, so he just went for his Hail Mary, and it didn't work out. Oh, excellent whiff punish, yeah. Zangief's charge punch is plus in his armor, but it's very whiff punishable. It's been like that for many games now. Oh, are we gonna see a EX wash? No, he tried it. He tried it. No, no, no. He was going for a air EX wash dynamite, but he didn't get the tiger knee, so he ended up doing a ground EX move and going into burnout. Otherwise, it was like. He has a leg counter, but um, some of Honda's press buttons are punches. Yeah, yeah. Oh, punish counter. F oh, good recognition. Went for the combo. Missed it, but that's fine. He shouldn't get deterred by it. it was the right choice. Ujiro is one round. I think uh, Beyond plays is right. This round is already over, even though he's on a live deficit. Yep. Uh, I don't know. Again, uh, I concede to Beyond. He's the Honda expert right now, as far as I'm concerned. So. It's good against whiff buttons, but uh, I don't think Honda would do anything uh, punishable enough that he can react with Supra. Like it's really good against fireball characters or 
really good against like big whiffs or jump ins. But Behunt is like playing a very solid ground game. He's not over committing on anything. So. Oh wow. Amazing. Hello. Oh my god. I think. Uh, it goes to the final round, but I think only one devil is completely mind broken right now. Blue. Could be it too. I mean, facing Honda is exhausting. I think only one devil had a couple of good reads with the, the air burst dynamites. But otherwise, I think wins and losses in this match is coming down to whether Behan makes the right move or the wrong move. Like he's kind of beating himself. I mean, I have to give credit to only devil. He's trying the best he can, but it seems like it just comes down to character matchups. I think these both of these players are very talented, but. Zangief doesn't seem like he has answers to Honda's neutral. Yeah, I mean he's trying the best he can, but honestly it looks like... I don't know man, it looks like a 7-3 matchup to me. I just don't know what Zangief can do. You know, as talented as Devil is, I think it's just a very bad matchup. But you know, he's trying his best. Look, he's on the live lead again, but... Yeah, you gotta look out for the chop, you gotta look out for the headbutts, you gotta look out for the butt slam. All of them are unpunishable by the way. <laughs> he, could, he could jump at you. See, Zangief is a character who wants to walk forward. And Honda is a character that wants to just fly across the screen. So how do you beat that? You're walking towards a car that's driving to you at full speed on the highway. I can't do that either. This car drive impacts back. Oh, I'm back. Up. Oh yeah, this is tournament point for beyond. And oh, thank you if you can do this. You know I'm it would be so hype if he lost. Oh, that's I really wanted a CA, but I'll do with a SPDS. Yeah, we take this. All right, I'm not a Zangief player, so I don't know what ad adaptation only one devil did, but whatever he did, he should keep doing it because it seems to be working out. Oh, yeah, you can't do that, man. Again, Capcom should take that out <laughs> as soon as possible. Thank you for already burnt out in two interactions. I think this is checkmate, yep. I think if you do a normal uh, Lariat against Edward, it trades. Uh, and you can just like. Spam headbutts and Zangi can't take excess PD and burn out. Okay, okay, uh, only one devil switching up the pacing, doing a lot more jump ins. Beyond's not ready for it because the matchup has been pretty patient so far, but he is ready for the drive impacts. So. Yeah, you can't DI this man. You can DI him once or twice, otherwise, he's ready with those zoomer reactions. There's a sick finish, the pretended beyond finish. GG's. 3 1 3 0. Could have been 3 0, but yeah. Only oh, one devil. Again, it's another player where I don't know if they could have done anything different. I think he's extremely talented. He was one of my favorites to win. He played really well. But it just seems like a very hard matchup for Zangief. What do you say, Beyond?
I feel like Honda in general right now is a bit of a menace until people kind of practice the matchup a little bit and you know learn how to deal with this shit. He's gonna, you know. All right, so we just had a winner for the first foot seas by weekly B Hunt. I am gonna let my co-commentator B Hunt interview the winner. B Hunt, take it away. <laughs> okay, so B Hunt, like, how was your match during the grand final? Like, how did you feel? It was alright, I guess. <laughs> so the pressure to get Zangief, but you know, in the end, it kind of worked out. I thought my Manon could do something, but like after the, the first two uh, rounds, I was like, you know what, maybe this is not working out. So I switched to Honda. You know, he's just good in general right now. So maybe I'll do better with him, and I did. All right, there you have it, folks. Thank you, Bihon, for the interview, and congratulations, <laughs> Bihon, on the win. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, that was an incredible uh, first tournament for Footsies for SF6. A uh, bit of a few problems at the start, but next time should be way more smoother and coordinated. Uh, I guess we'll see you everyone in two weeks then. All right. Yep. Genius. Great tournament, great experience. Thanks everybody for coming and uh, see you next yeah. time. See you next time.